All right, I think we're, we can safely start the debate now, okay? We're gonna actually listen to this goofy ass debate now. Tell me if it's too quiet, okay? ...to things for a time, but you're supposed to overcome issues, not get deeper into them. The only non-immoral purpose for sex that I can think of is having children. When a man and a woman are rightfully married, um, it's in the Bible, in fact, that God killed a man from for dead. pulling out, if you will. That it's is a, true. I heard it. We've it's, talked it's about quite this. gross. Sex, you'll notice, it weakens men. The great Mick, the trainer Mick, told Rocky one time, women weaken the legs. And <laughs> that is so wait, wait, did he just reference Ro fucking the fictional trainer from Rocky? Oh, I'm never going to be able to beat this game. I'm going to have to keep pausing because that is way too fucking True. good. I think all athletes know this. And it's not just Shut sex, but it's the pornography and all that other junk that uh, young males get into. And the women and other evil people the use women. sex and perversion to control the men. I've heard it's even used in some cases for, from one country it's against another to weaken like the uh, the men. And it's... What? Uh, it is uh, no wonder that there's so much divorce and remarried bec because in part they were doing the sex out of wedlock and sex became too much too important. There's no respect for men. The women are not respecting the men and there's no the actual love not. for women because sex is not love and there's no love in the women either. And men are kind of looking for love in the women. I and that's don't know. The I've place. had some pretty fucking I romantic sex I believe that the Bible before, even bro. condemns putting it where it doesn't belong in the exit only area. And common sense, nature, and nature's oh, God says Why are Christians that's... always like this? Christians are fucking always like this. They literally, they can't actually say most words. They're like, uh, um, it, the Bible forbids putting it in the, um, in the exit pipe. They can't say asshole. They can't say fucking a anus. They can't say any of that shit. They always, they always fucking say it in the goofiest way. Um, I, I, I put my willy waggle in the rear door. That's not that's not right. <laughs> These LGBTQ alternative things aren't even real sex at all. It's just self indulgence and selfish, maybe mutual exploitation, mutual indulgence. A key to it. But it should just in reality, I think it should just be a minute. Mutual exploitation. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we've reached a level of conservative brain rot where they they like literally make oxymorons. Like that's a mutual exploitation is a fucking oxymoron. Wait, he says sex should be less than a minute. Dude, you're just a, you're just asexual. You just don't like sex. Just be okay with that and let other people do their thing. Holy shit. And done. And it's cause, because it's not love. Anything else, I think, is false idol worship, worshiping of the body, which is it's encouraged right now to get women to get all this pleasure or whatever like that. I think that that's just demonic. I think it's possession and I think it's um, passion. And you, usually people who get angry, they get more sexual or if they get all excited, they're more sexual. You should be what? even tempered. So you can have some self-control. <laughs> People kill over sex. <laughs> Dude, you just need to be more boring. You just need to be more boring. You just need to be really, really even-tempered. Don't get anybody too worked up. Please. Please don't get worked. Nobody needs to. Just, if you get angry, then you're going to want to have sex. And once you want to have sex, then you're going to want to commit murder. And once you commit murder, then you're going to want to buy the entire menu at McDonald's and we all know where that goes. People who get boyfriend become boyfriend girlfriend and all that stuff, relationships and breakups do not need to be so insane. And I think that this consent Across thing is ridiculous. Show up, I guess. Um you'll notice the that the liberals and the female minded this, emotional intellectuals message. think that consent is just about the only thing. Wait, Consenting adults is Wait, I'm sorry. I have not pre-watched this. I have not seen this at all. Bye, Rapti. See you soon. I have no... Wait, did I miss something? I have not pre-watched this. Why are you accusing me of a pre-watch? Excuse me? Relationships and breakups do not need to be so insane. 
And I think that this consent thing is ridiculous. Um, you'll notice that the liberals and the female-minded emotional intellectuals think that consent is just about the only thing. Consenting adults is the common phrase. The only uh, prerequisite for having sex. I think that's a red herring because just because you're consensually exploiting each other doesn't make it right and it's nothing to be proud of. They're pushing pride like crazy. We're coming up on so-called Pride Month right now. The LGBTQIA plus Pride Month. What's to be proud of with that? It's not something Everything. to be proud of. It's yes, something it is. to be It's it's absolutely to be proud of. We have the best sex in the world despite every single cis person and het person hating our motherfucking guts. Literally, if it wasn't for gay people, you wouldn't have vibrators, you wouldn't have BDSM, you wouldn't have Tenga eggs, you wouldn't have fleshlight. It is only because of, it is, gay people are like the scientists of sex. I'm telling you, we know all of the coolest, healthiest, safest, and most awesome ways to have sex, and you all are jealous. continue to hide if it's something you're into i'm proud of it i'm and proud of to it. overcome quietly not be blasting out for female-minded people to prop you up think about it the commie capitalist corporations you and the okay. phony politicians are all kissing up to the uh the sexually immoral to uh this guy sounds like he's to promote asleep. wrong as right and tell you be who you are that's not who you are it's something that you got into and you're lost, and you're not By special, way, you're being used. Also, just, I know this is going to be really, really, I know that this is really common, but I, but some of you don't have, like, contact with Christians very frequently. There will never be an argument. There will be uh, emotions. There will be declarations. Never once will you hear any sort of meaningful logic. It's just going to be God said it. Uh, feeding the ego is dangerous. Don't fall for it. I don't Look, know how much what? time I have left. Why? But, uh, uh, you have a minute and a half. Feeding the okay. ego is dangerous? Another okay. word for Satan, Why? I say. What does that mean? I think is imagination. And pornography feeds that st that stuff. And it's I think that it's dangerous. Like any abuse, it tends to get worse. It draws people into darker and darker, more corrupt and twisted things. Oh, away from what's pushing. natural and right. Into He's depravity. Trying. It He's makes the undig so at best it makes undignified functional males and females just have this hang up, right? That they occasionally fall into. In worse quote unquote worst cases, it devolves into um, homosexuality, rape, murder. What? All kinds of stuff. It puts the woman as God. You, you see these woman porn stars all act talking politics like they know what they're talking about and trying to demand money from men That's and all be, being all degenerate and disgusting she gets so full of herself and then and then in the end she's miserable i think this is spread misery until we've entered into the weird incel rant part where this guy is clearly talking about someone specific but nobody else in the entire world knows who he's talking about that is just listen guys Okay, hold on. I'm going to take a second and go on big screen here. You know, and I've been guilty of this too, of calling cri cr like Christian rambling schizo posting, but I'm going to be completely real. Every actual schizo post I've ever seen in my entire life is infinitely more interesting than Christian bullshit. Christians basically made imitation schizo posting. It's like schizo posting. It's almost like it, but it isn't actually, and it's less interesting. Straight up. I'm not kidding you. You, am I wrong? They're just making shit up, but it's less interesting than when a schizo does it. It's, it's discounted it's dollar store. It's lame. The man puts out, I mean, flips out and kills Let's the God that he here. made of her or else he becomes huh? her slave. And it's pretty disgusting. There are many ways to be evil. It's not just homosexuality or child abuse or non-consensual things or stuff like that. We should oh, aim for Oh, he's doing perfect. the thing. He's doing the thing. He's doing it right now. Oh my God. 
He He's literally doing the thing right this moment that I always talk about. Notice how he's like, there's multiple types of evil. There's child abuse. There's homosexuality. There's this. They just lump it all together. So they're like, there is evil going on. And they want you to think they're going to say it's child abuse. It's all this shit. And then when you're when challenged on it, they retreat from the euphemism. They go, oh, well, there's many types of evil. Oh, my God. I fucking hate that shit. And not be like, I'm not, oh, at no. least I'm not Do fill not in the blank, like child molester or something display. like that. As if we're better. We should, we're all in hell, Something giving bad. hell to one another, and we should be overcoming that. Not seeking revenge and gossiping and backbiting and getting into this stuff. I think we should avoid even the appearance of evil. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for that opening Except statement. I did want to say, everybody, make sure you like and subscribe to the Cruise School and do all that bullshit you're supposed to do to grow a channel, blah, blah, blah. I will say before I hand this over to Vosh for his five-minute opening, this comment did catch my eye. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Right? I, yes. I, I couldn't help but pull that one up. Vosh Indeed. Has five Just minutes on the tape. Um, as, as so often seems to be the case, I'm left in the unfortunate position of not knowing whether or not I'm just surrounded by trolls, and I have no idea how serious the role taking <laughs> is. But I'll try my best, you know, see what I can do. I so uh, I'll, 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 I'll my word on it. It is it is serious. <laughs> I'll try to I'll try to address this um, uh, as substantively as I can. So when we talk about ethics, depending on the ethical system that you subscribe to, you know, um, you are going to arrive at different conclusions about what is or is not moral. Um, if you subscribe to a uh, divine command theory, as I believe Hake does, the idea that like what is good is in the Bible, and that's the end of it, you know. Um, I guess I would just be curious as to why Hake's positions seem to be more orthodox than those of essentially every religious society on Earth. Um, you know, the perspectives that he holds here are maybe one or two of them Anyone you can find else? like commonly accepted in some of the more orthodox ISIS, like say Saudi Arabia or stuff but all of them in tandem sure, seem more like a caricature of what a secular person moment. would create to make fun of religious people which I guess is fine by me you know it seems a bit odd to run things that way um, I guess like to, to roll it back though like you know we say sex is for the purpose of procreation and that's great and all but I guess I kind of want to and, and this is all I really care about. I want to I want to work through the God in Hake's mind. You know, God is everywhere, right? There's a little bit of him uh, up there in your noggin. And I want to know, like, why, why is sex immoral? Like, I I I, 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 I want to understand this. So let's say that like sex is for procreation or whatever. Okay, explain so, to me real quick. This item. Hey, Merrick, great to see you. This item right here is uh, ambrosia. Or no, this isn't ambrosia. This is nectar. Nectar uh, is the uh, is one of the items that you can use to advance the dating sim aspect of this game, which is why I took it early. So we can take this and we can begin a romance, which is sick as fuck. I just wanted to show you that. Just so you know, if you see this bottle, these are romance items. They're gifts that you can give away to make people to, to start to date the characters. Yes. That's right. Like I said, this game is a roguelite with dating sim. You get to date and have sex with some of the other characters. Whoa! Shit! Oh, shit! Like, as a secular person, where does that logic come from? Because there's a lot of stuff that God prescribes in the Ten Commandments or whatever that totally makes sense to me. You know, thou shalt not kill, covet thy neighbor, oh, blah, yes. blah, That makes dating. sense. You know, I can rationalize that. Why would God not want us to do these things? Well, it hurts people. We're his creation. Um, you would look at, you know, Earth and see, well, maybe life would be better if that wasn't the case. How on Earth is not making women come making the world a better place? Uh, I just, I want to know. I'm like, well, you didn't say you don't make women come. I think you said you just, you don't want to do it for more than a minute. So I guess maybe you're very, very good. But, um, yeah, I, I guess, I just, I want to know. I want to, I want to understand that. Um, like, would that be the ticket you'd run on as a politician? Like, no more female orgasms? How do, how do you, how do you roll with that one? That's the main thing that I want to know. We can work from there. All right, gentlemen, the, um, floor is open. Wasn't quite expecting it to go this way, power. but fuck it. Let's do it. Go ahead, Hank. You're up. Um, I think the ethics stuff comes from, like, common sense, and I don't know if sex is always immoral, but it's something dangerous not to be toyed with. 
And a lot of Dangerous? times we have this laissez-faire, oh, you should please the woman. And right now, that's part of the problem is in life right now in society that you see is this e over eagerness to please the woman in, in one way, not just sexually, I'm talking about uh, pleasing women, listening to them, just catering sense. to them, and Never uh, for those of you, uh, we just picked up some gemstones. Gemstones are the currency we will be able to use to upgrade our house. <gasps> That's right. It's a dating sim and you get to upgrade your fucking house, including your bedroom. It's sick as fuck. I know it's going to be awesome. You guys are going to love it, but I just wanted to let you know we just picked up some gems. Letting them worry their pretty little heads about politics and stuff. All of this, there's a lot of kissing up going on. I fucking love this um, game so much. Sex, but I think it's self-evident. I think even you know that sex is not really... Aphrodite! A, a toy to just flippantly Hold on, Hold on, everybody. I'm use. sorry. They're talking about sex, but we're going to pause for Aphrodite, okay? Everybody, get ready for Aphrodite. We have to pause for Aphrodite. Special honors for, the, for Aphrodite. Come on, come on. They're all arguing about sex. Aphrodite, the mess. queen of sex. <sighs> Youch. Oh, All righty, Aphrodite time. A mess. Let's Woo. see here. Why, hello, hello there, little godling. I have to say, you're quite the specimen, and so I've decided oh, to Oh my god! You, for a moment. you interested? Oh! Amazing! After you take damage, special deals more damage and inflicts weak! Yeah! Let's fucking do it! Interested? And the power to break hearts? Sure, I don't see why not. The power to break hearts. Love it! Let's do it! Uh, I have a pretty casual attitude about sex, for the most part. Um, I feel like most of what you say about sex being potentially dangerous Can't could show. be applied to literacy as well. This is one of the reasons why the um, Catholic hey, priests Carol. during the if Middle Ages preached in really Latin, which was a, um, you know, a language a sign, that wasn't understood by the flock that they preached to. Um, because they didn't want there to be like an understanding, like they just Great. wanted to be like dogma accepted. So it seems like if we're if we're going to to shun social practices because they could potentially lead people down dark roads, we would be keeping everyone in cages. Isn't the point of humans being given free will that God gives us the ability to sin or not to sin? That this earth is the playground of which humans, I agree, that his creation, cool, uh, determine their own moral worth and their eternal reward? Well, I don't think we have free will, but that's a side point. And yes, I'm not looking to go the opposite mm. extreme, if you will. And uh, I do recognize that knowledge oh, and no. women getting into education and <laughs> even males getting into education can be, uh, so-called education, can be poisonous. I have a t-shirt that says no, knowledge is poison. Me. Are you a Calvinist? Calvinist? In all that Sorry, just curious. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. Wait. I, don't, I haven't really gotten into Calvin and all that stuff. Us. I read about it, and I... I do think that uh, I do think that we are chosen rather than we choosing God, but I'm not really sure. Do you mind me asking what sect of the church you subscribe to? Uh, I'm a non-denominational Christian. I grew oh up in boy. a Presbyterian, but we weren't serious about being Presbyterians. It was just my grandma's That's church, so and I went to my brother's gr girlfriend's church. It was a friend's go. church, Quakers, but they were conservative. Non-denominational. There you go. Time. And now I go well, to Calvinism, Jesse yeah. Peterson Church with Jesse Lee Peterson at Bond. Gotcha. Of course. Uh, you know, yeah. um, brothers, you're right, brothers uh, helping brothers. It's, it's interesting to have such an orthodox perspective on religious theory when you're non-denominationalist. Usually non-denominationalist Christians are people who have a more laissez-faire attitude no. towards, like, biblical prescriptivism. No, nope, you know? that's a misunderstanding. They tend to be more of the... That's actually a misunderstanding. Um... By laissez-faire, it means they make things up, but that's literally every single every single Christian. Non-denominational Christians are some of the most extreme. Calvary Chapel, the cult that I talk about all the time, is non-denominational. Uh, that's not. It, it's a misconception that non-denominational means laissez-faire. That's simply not true. In um, 
they're as laissez-faire as any other Christian. Yeah, Unitarians, but Unitarians aren't non-denominational. They're their own denomination. They're just friendly to other denominations. Yeah, uh, non-denominations tend to be either Pentecostal um, or 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 more explicitly Calvinist, even though Pentecostals and Calvinists have a lot of similarities. For those of you who don't know what Calvinism is, Calvinism is uh, a it was a it's a school of Protestant belief that believes that more or less believes that everyone is predestined. God writes your destiny before you are born. And as a result, um, weirdly enough, Calvinists place a lot of value on the outward appearance of, of living a holy life because God writes your destiny into into the cosmos before you're born. The only way you can know, you can like have any sort of idea about whether or not you're a good Christian or not is if you appear to be a good Christian. Did you notice how he said earlier, how Hake earlier said, um, I believe we should avoid even the appearance of evil? That is a strongly Calvinist viewpoint. The idea that basically, well, everybody, God already wrote everything. So if you're, if you appear to be a good Christian, that probably means you were one of God's chosen. It's, it's a very weird belief system that is especially thought terminating. It, it is repugnant. I agree. The, uh, you know, like uh, live with Christ in your heart, you know, confess once every year type people. <laughs> no, I mean, I think a lot of the, the Bible, just a lot of the, the stuff that I referenced from the Bible, it rings true. I think um, we're going to beat her. And the stuff that I'm saying is not, like you, like you pointed out, it's not even necessarily biblical stuff. It's some of it's just sort of, I think, common sense stuff. And especially, um, especially the warning about, I mean, just look around at society today. If you had, had, had my quote unquote morals, you would be as horrified as I am at just the degeneracy of the people and the misery of the people. Well, that's and kind of self-evident, right? Okay, well, if you say, like, if you believe what I believe, then you would believe what I believe, then yeah, sure. But I don't know. It seems like by a common sense perspective, like, people would be fucking more, right? Like, common sense perspective is people want to fuck biologically and it feels good when they do. So it seems yeah, like, if anything, you need kind of arbitrary. This, right, that's partly why I'm not for this pornography stuff. I, I think that people should be... Uh, coming together at a not an not an older age like late 20s 30s 40s they should be coming together in their prime and hopefully being mature spiritually emotionally and, and mentally oh, mature fuck. at a young age like ah! perhaps we were oh, more in the good old days I think we I were got her. and yes! responsible and having the children so we weren't don't Second need to bring, fight. be bringing in Second all this try. immigration and stuff like that. You know, people Come actually on. had sex more often back in the good old days. Mm -hmm. Assuming you were in the 1950s and 60s, um, they tended to have sex young. Cat, Kcat48 says, do you think he's lying about not being a Calvin Calvinist or do they often obfuscate it? Uh, they usually don't know. Uh, American Christians are uniquely stupid about Christian history. It's extremely funny. Um, American evangelical Christians know jack shit about the history of humanity. Uh, they tell themselves weird, like, legends, but they don't actually know anything, and they do usually don't care. ...and more frequently than, um, younger millennials or Zoomers do today, because people, no like, are shut up inside their houses. Keep going. In I a know. way, people not having sex is kind of an indication of social instability. Yeah, I'm not talking about, uh... <laughs> I'm not talking about not having sex. I'm just saying that it shouldn't be this thing that's worshipped. Because right now it's worshipped more than more today, openly and shamelessly, than it was in those good old days when they were married and doing it right. What do you mean by worship? Do you think we worship like um, self? Pizza? It's like, yeah, and sometimes in some cases, yeah. Well, that's a pretty pretty. Um, broad definition of idolatry then, certainly. I feel yeah. like, if anything, you're the one who puts sex in a pedestal, because you think it's like this super special divine gift, and I think it's just like a cool... I don't like, think it's a gift. Cool, cool thing you can do, you know? Long way Second I don't level, think it's everybody. a gift. I don't think it's this necessarily yeah. this... I mean, I have, in my older days, and I might still yeah. think it, I have thought of sex as marriage, like, because the two become one, and yeah, then you notice somewhere. that 
Asphodel. Uh, I know that you're Let's casual it. about it. You may, but many people get hooked flame on each other after that, and not in a not in a quote unquote healthy way. Well, what's unhealthy if two people like having sex casually? You know. Now, obviously, there are elements of a relationship that can go bad, of course, but that can happen in marriage too. You know, that's hardly exclusive. Right, that can happen in any kind of relationship. I mean, you think about how the how the women today, many of them are getting older. They're past their prime. They've been taking on. They've been doing the so-called casual sex thing, but they've been taking birth control, messing up their bodies. And then when they come to find out they can't have babies, or they come out Wait, what? wrong, or something like that. Wait, what? Then uh, they they end up. <laughs> what? what? He hasn't. He hasn't even. He hasn't even gone and learned his talking points. That's not even what. That's not even the talking point. The talking point isn't that birth control fucks up your babies. The talking point is that uh, women take birth control and then until they get, in, they take birth control until they're forty-five, and then they're too old to have babies. He can't even get his fucking arguments right. This guy's absolutely off the rails. They're miserable because they haven't done it done it the right way. I think, I mean, you can usually reliably have children up into your mid to late 30s, and even after yeah. that, I think there's just, like, an increasing likelihood of some conditions. I don't yeah. know how frequent it is for women to, like, casually take birth control for 20 years, then stop not knowing that th that it was preventing them from having a kid, right? Like, you're just, like, wh this is, like, a narrative, right? What if they just want to, like, fuck, what if they just want to get, like, railed at club parties or whatever, yeah. and then, they like, can have do a kid that. later? They can do that because... Uh, people in their younger years can live in hell like that and think that they're getting away with it. But as they get older, especially the women, they become women. used up, if you will, and then they feel used because that's all it is. It's just using each other. Do the men feel used as well? Oh, yeah. Wait, is this yeah. the conversation where the women thing came from? Is this that conversation? I've seen people posting the women thing. Is that is that, is that literally this convo? Whatever. When, but they're, when will but they I get start away with it used? more? Huh? When will I start feeling used? <laughs> I don't know. I'm tw I mean, I'm 28, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not like, young, young. Palm. Surely, eventually, right. it has to kick Palm in. Pomegranate of power. Give me it. Well, man, I don't know. You, people, different people have different symptoms of their misery. Wave makers. It's not like you're a happy per It's not like you're a joyful, peaceful person. You're not at peace. Um... I'm I'm not at peace like uh, Reverend Peterson. I'll admit I haven't yet attained that divine level of uh, of tranquility. Um, but you know I'm, I'm I'm working on it a little bit. Yeah, I think true. I think I'm getting Christians there. Christians. Yeah, I know a lot of people who do have the whole well. uh, you know trad wife. You know, like they marry at 22 or whatever, and they're not too happy either. I really think it's just a person per person thing. What if people just For want sure. different things? Uh, you know what? It it does come down to your life, and you have to know for yourself what's right. I will give you that, but. This whole, what if you just want different things? That's just, uh, that's, that's a lazy, fair, like, you're not offering any wisdom to the Boy, people. Well, he loves that. Wisdom. I agree that that Who in cares? and of itself isn't, like, really great advice, because life, you can life, say that about basically anything. Life advice book? But I feel wisdom. like, um, I don't know. Like, if you go back far enough, there would have been, Damn, like, socially normalized up, standards of marriage and sex that you and I probably wouldn't have liked as much, that we wouldn't have agreed with. Um... And I, I feel like if we had made the argument then, like, hey, maybe we want to be able to do this, uh, you know, like, what we are asking for is freedom of choice, not a prescriptive thing for other people. If you want to marry, I would never stop you, but I feel like you politically kind of, like, hate the idea of people being able to hook, hook up casually when they're young. Or at least it feels that way. And if that's the case, like, why can't they do it? If they want to make what you perceive to be mistakes, shouldn't that be their right? Um, I suppose so. I, I don't... We're talking about morality. We're not talking about necessarily prescription in terms of of me ruling the world so okay. i think what? that we i mean ma we can get into that i, I would oh okay, i suppose sorry. but i, I misunderstood but I, I don't want to get too lost in that unless it's interesting can we talk about I, anal sex then if we're talking about uh, morality sure oh my god yes here we I go it's pretty vulgar and uh, it's uh well so just just to cut in yeah um this is a debate on sexual morality and if Vosh wants to bring up uh, different aspects of what he considers moral or immoral about sexual morality, that's fair table, whether you think it's vulgar or not, hey. Yeah, no, I, I, said, I said it's fine. I just said it's kind of vulgar. That's just my reaction to it. I'll keep it um, PG-13 with, uh, with the descriptiveness. <laughs> I just, I, I don't get the obsessiveness with it, you know, in a, in a negative sense, you know. 
Um, like, oh, it's Shiny. vulgar. Well, frankly, sex in general is, is, is fucking disgusting. You know, yeah. you get up close to a person, you're breathing really hard. That's life. Um, but if people are having fun with it, um, you know, there's, there's that, that, what's the catchphrase? Uh, how is anal sex winning the culture war? Like, That's everyone cool. likes anal sex. Straight people like anal sex. Everyone's been doing anal sex for as long as people have been having sex and writing down how they had sex. It goes back... That's not true. Ahead. It goes back way far. Anal sex? You're like you thousands said, you of said years everybody. old. You said everybody. You said everybody. Everybody's every not group doing of that. people. Not, not oh. like every individual, but like every group of people. Forgot about know, that That's ability. why it's mentioned as, oh. as a no-no in the Bible, I believe. Uh, Christians have been I doing it for a up. while, too. Otherwise, sorry, Catholics I wouldn't be having the issues they've been having. Um, it seems to be a pretty broad predilection there. And why wouldn't it? You I know? think that's a false stereotype. I think that's I a bit about of an overly simplified false stereotype. And you're right. Christians Christians do wrong many times. But it doesn't. You're, you're acting like it's something that's been accepted by people at large. No, I'm just saying. Hold on. We got a story. Do not question my power, Hades. Your son was bound to be discovered the closer he came to the surface. The Olympians are pleased to know they have a distant relative and bid him welcome to their mountain. That is all. Their influence is very limited. Damn. Blood and darkness, do not speak to me about their influence. I've seen their influence firsthand. You've made a foolish mistake. This is not my first time playing. But it, but it's my first time playing it uh, all the way through on stream. You would speak to me of foolish mistakes. You is everyone in Hades hot as fuck? Yep, everyone. Try all you like. It's... Oh. Is Dad gonna talk to me? Daddy, Daddy, talk to me. Don't be mad at mommy. Daddy, talk to me. I'll call. I'll go talk to my real dad. Happen to know whom I should thank for the weapons just outside my chambers, Achilles? I'm sure I wouldn't, lad. Though if I happen to run into them, I'll let them know. Thanks, true. Thanks, thanks, real dad. Let's give. Come on, let's give Achilles the gift first. Come on. Mm. Hey, Achilles. Look, this really isn't much, but here. This really is for me. You beat me to it then, as I had meant to give you this when next we spoke. Please, take it. Thanks so much, sir. Hey, he gave us a magical bracer. Thank you, Achilles. Pet dog. Let's pet. Let's pet doggy. Pet if doggy time. If I don't pet your other head, don't bite my arm off. Deal? <laughs> Go talk to this boy over here. Mm, you look like someone who just got turned to stone then crushed to a bloody pulp by the Megagorgon of Asphodel. Am I right? Oh, look, I'm sorry to hear that. And before you ask, I won't tell Dusa. Don't you worry about that. Hey, watch it. That's wow. very reassuring. Why would you tell Dusa? That's mean. What once was a small lounging area within the House of Hades now is sealed off in utter shambles since the multi-headed Cerberus tore the space apart, mourning the missing prince. Aw, doggy ripped up the lounge. Cerberus destroyed the lounge again. <gasps> Meg! Oh, hi. Hi, Vaughn. Come say hi to the stream. Come say hi. Come on. Come say hi to the empties. Come on, Vaughn. Hello. Hello. Oh, Vaughn moment. Will you refill my sodi by any chance? Thank you. I would appreciate that a lot. Thank you. All right, let's continue, everybody. We got to keep going. Let's talk to Meg. When the prodigal son returns, everyone's saying I went easy on you, Zag. Don't worry, Meg. I eventually managed to get home the painful way after all. I beat you. Look, I have a reputation to uphold. You get past me again like that, you best go all the way. Now leave me be and don't think you're going to be so lucky next we meet out there. I will. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you again, Meg. You're 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 being sundere about it, but some sort of special offer for me, my good shade. Hmm. Work authorized. A fountain chamber in the depths of Tartarus oh, sounds like an excellent you. idea. Ooh. 
The ever-shifting chambers of the underworld ought to be a little livelier Getting with some this. basic upgrades here real quick. We don't got much, but that's nice. The way to start. And God. did we get any shadows? We did. Then we should get what shadow presence is. Deals bonus attack and special when attacking from behind. Just store a small amount when you exit a chamber. What plus one per rank? Oh, that's good. I have no more darkness. Okay, we'll get both of those then. Feeling good. All right, now we got to talk to Skelly. Yeah, Skelly. I love the, I love their construction house. Hey, Skelly. Hey, Skelly. You look like you know your way around Tartarus. Found some of this ancient Titan blood out there, and I was looking to score some more. Ah, you come to the right place regarding that, there, pal. It's your mean weapons back there that can find this stuff. Once you get all the way through Tartarus with one, that's all the blood you're gonna get. For the time being, anyhow. Thank you. That's How am true. I supposed to keep track of which weapons I've earned these with, then? I don't know. There's always the invention of writing stuff down. You'll figure something out. So. We have made it through Tartarus with the bow. Got something new to try. Take negative 20 damage from the front, but plus 10 from the back. Alright, we're doing it. Might help. I wish we could unlock the... Oh, we can! Let's unlock the spear! Veratha. Achilles' spear! Eternal Veratha! Spear. The eternal spear! Bet you couldn't hit me with that, pal. I fucking love this weapon! The ult... The, the Q yeah, ability is a throw, and it's really fun. Ah. So we're gonna play we're gonna play with the spear all right everybody we're I going back game, in a second boy, time yo. let's start the debate back up back in we go they do it anyway you know it's not like all christians follow accepted one, one, doctrine M most no people are evil it's true well, what makes it evil that's what i want to know i love spear i don't know it's what like makes it evil hammer. but instinctively it is my it's uh, <clears throat> at least the disgusting normal sex produces life this only produces death and uh you know, disease Dude, you're just and sex repulsed. cancer and all That's kinds it. of other. You're just sex repulsed. You don't like sex. Let other people have it. If you're personally grossed out by it, you know what? That's that's between you and your fucking god, or you and your therapist. But other people aren't as grossed out as you. Holy it's shit! Death. Does it produce death and disease and cancer? Uh, I mean, it's related. More, well, more frequently related to it, and in it, it in itself, it's disgusting and wrong. It's against nature. Well, what's okay? Exit so, only, man. Maybe right now. Uh, Have some logic. With regards to the cancer, I'm isn't. pretty sure one of the biggest causes of cancer is like um, HPV, which is a vaginal sex thing. Or if you don't like piss yes, after having sex, that's not an anal thing. Like that's 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 from any kind of sex. In fact, funnily enough, um, you know. Oh, this uh, game's fucking amazing. I, I, I'm Are you sure. not aware? Oh yeah. Well, if you'll let me interrupt. Are you oh, sure. not aware that gay men have so-called gay men? I don't even like that term. Males who are into that, into that, are getting or have been getting cancer and all kinds of stuff. From I heard that it's from that more often. I have even from Hunter that. Avalone said that, and he's all into facts. So you uh, should. Uh, well, I haven't read every every study Hunter Avalone <laughs> okay. said. Um, I have no doubt. Listen, okay, gay people doing lots of wacky stuff. I'm sure. A listen. Listen, everybody. I assure you that no matter how much gay sex that you are having every single day, no matter how many times per day your asshole is getting prolapsed by your extremely hot boyfriend or girlfriend with an enormous dick or they friend with an enormous dick, no matter how many times, it will never give you as much of a risk of cancer as eating uh, fucking meat as a regular part of your diet. Eating red meat is so fucking bad for you by comparison. Siri, it is unbelievable. And yet, I, I guarantee you, this fucking chuckle fuck tosses back a burger every other day. A couple of them have found some sex act that gives you cancer. More than a couple, man. A couple, a few, a good few. I've met a few. Um, it's kind of irrelevant, like, with the whole gay thing, though. Oh, no, wait a minute. Hold on a have, second. Um, Somebody, why'd you put me... You put me into the AI? Hey, that's pretty cool, actually. Damn! That's pretty sick! Okay, I take it back. That's pretty awesome. Good job, AI. You got it down. This one's pretty accurate. This one's pretty accurate down here. Damn. That's fucking sick. 
Okay, never mind. I take it back. That's sick as hell. All right. Quite Thank a lot you. of anal sex themselves. Yeah, it's it's wrong. I mean, at the end of the day, like let's let's we can bite the bullet and say, you know, even if anal sex was like dangerous or something, and it's not even real sex. You shouldn't even be calling it sex. What should we be calling it then? I don't even know. It shouldn't even be. Uh, it shouldn't even exist. <laughs> well, uh, like, uh, okay, what about uh, blowjobs? I mean, that's ex like you know that may not be an exit only hole, but it's definitely not yeah, one intended I don't think it's for reproduction. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's right. I don't think that men should trust anybody else to. That's disgusting. What do you mean by right? Okay, so disgusting. Like you kiss people, <laughs> right? Like you you ha tell me you tell me you're okay with making out with women. Uh, I think it should be avoided because that leads to other things. Unless you, I mean, I guess unless That's you're married, I guess. One. Splash. Okay. Yeah, so, we got the water splash. Okay. You shouldn't what? be. You shouldn't be just waltzing right into that type of temptation because yeah, it leads repulse. into That's other things. That's all other that this things. is. But aren't it's a aren't house. all things temptation? Like, doesn't every it's kind of material dead. pleasure potentially? lead one to want to try new pleasures, even high quality food. Gluttony is literally one of the, the yeah. seven sins right up there with lust. But you yeah. would never say like, hey, don't eat tasty food because it might lead you down the road to gluttony. What do you you know, uh, you might you might have a point there. I mean, maybe we should be avoiding that stuff. I mean, we should aim for perfection. Oh, of course. But I think yeah, it's, never I think it's quite clear that pe weapon. people fall to temptation when they get to kissing like that. Or if they eat a nice meal. And, the and, chamber, I okay, I mean, one wrong doesn't justify another. Oh, okay, so you, you would concede then that it's a moral wrong to enjoy, like, a lobster dinner because I mean, it's, it's a, a precursor to temptation to gluttony? I mean, most of the time when people eat a lobster dinner, they don't gorge themselves necessarily. But, but it, it conditions you to, to crave the material satiation. Yeah, you should not satiation. worship food. Yeah, you're, you're very right that uh, people have a bad relationship with food and with sex. Both. It's me or them. It just seems like by this logic you could fairly say... I'm not saying say... it's immoral. I didn't say it's immoral to kiss. I said it's unwise. Hey, You're hey, competing you, gotta, you gotta give Vosh a chance to respond, though. Oh, right. no, it's, it, yeah, it's, well, I, I mean, I, like, one of the, um, one of the heavenly virtues is temperance. Yeah, the ability yeah. to experience to pleasure honest, or some kind of earthly satisfaction. There, but not then go like, all right, I'm gonna ruin my fucking life with this thing. You know, like you may you may be proud, but do not succumb to pride. You may eat, but do not be gluttonous. You may have sex, but do not be lustful. You know, all that right. stuff. So it seems like if you have a hyper like uh, paranoid attitude about any of these pleasures leading to temptation, you have to deny yourself any kind of satiation. But that wouldn't like you couldn't lay claim to that because like. You, you you would be living like a monastic life, right? I mean, you would have to be like wandering the world yep. with not but a cloak on it's your shoulders. It's always interesting how you that You know, works. like taking food offered to you. Like that, the degree of like asceticism that you're talking about here is is like um like Buddhist level, like 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 the Buddha, you know? Like no, it's way man. beyond what Christians do. Right, I understand what you're saying. I'm not talking about going extreme and crazy, but... I'm just. You it's, said it's sex should never last more than a minute. That's not crazy, about, bro. Come yes, on, man. Watch just your wait. relationship with Jesus, food. These, be aware. These people are never. And yes, they're never even. A, they're watch so it unaware. with the kissing stuff. How can you think that your position that sex should never last more than a minute is not extreme? Oh. Well, I think it, kiss. <laughs> if 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 we're to compare food and sex, then kissing would be like the equivalent of like licking a dinner roll. You know, I feel like people tend to go a bit no. farther than that by default. <laughs> Not yeah. if you only have ever had so, sex for less than one minute in your entire life. Right? So maybe, well, maybe kissing is literally the greatest really, thing that's ever right? happened. I to think, you, uh, I think a lot of us are just as confused as when we started this, right? So maybe we can dive oh, into this a little bit more. <laughs> hey, maybe you can inform us where Passive you're getting these worldviews from, and uh, so that maybe Vosh can address them because uh, some some of them are, are actually fairly foreign to me and uh, to the chat as well. He's like, dude, so you're crazy, you man. Inform us about these worldviews, where they Just come from, why you believe them, and then uh, you you still never directly address okay. the morality point, which is why is it moral or immoral? And I think that that's kind of the heart of the debate in a way. So go okay. ahead. All right. Well, I I say that sex out of wedlock is immoral, and all these these. Uh, these perverted sex things are perversions. It's not what God wants. It's not what uh, 
It's not even what nature with left to turn, would dictate or want. So it's just self-indulgence. It's together, using each oh, other. Please don't spiral, and I think Max, that's Sibbles. immoral. Max, as, it's great to see for, you. Max, it's wonderful to see you. We're having a chill, very gay stream uh, listening to a Christian completely embarrass themselves and prove that he is a, uh, a cuckold, I believe, who never has had sex for longer than one minute, who's physically repulsed from sex, but he definitely thinks that's God that's telling him. So, like, it's... You couldn't ask for more funny things. I'm happy to have you, and I, I'm very happy you've, you've come by. And I hope you feel better. I understand how dark it is. And, kissing and, itself, yeah. I think that they leads into temptation. Into and I am not saying everybody should just avoid kissing until marriage, but there are people who do that. And it's not unheard of for people to not even kiss or make out or stuff like that until marriage because it's... Uh, in a in a relationship, in a dating relationship, you should just be normal with the person, get to know them, rather than feed them. Yeah, when you're an kissing, you're feeding your, each other's yeah. ego on yourselves. And it's... Uh, it is getting into, like, passions and imagination, which is dangerous, rather than um, dangerous? getting to know the person ob objectively. You can you see that it's just pretty. Objective? Do you yeah. think it would be better wait, and, how and do like you succumb to less temptation? How do you object? How do you wait? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How do you get to know someone objectively? That is not. That is no, like. That doesn't even make sense. Like conceptually, there. You can't get to know someone objection ob, uh, objectively. That that's not even like applicable. Humans understanding each other is perhaps the fuzziest and 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 least clear thing that we that we ever do as humans. How the fuck do you think that you could bring objectivity into getting to know somebody else? And also, I have not yet heard him explain what the problem with imagination is. Why I that's something that's like not even like like I don't even think I've encountered that from other Christians. Oh, of course. Yeah, this is a this is a classic. Others have pointed this out, but it's very funny how states of being that conservatives insist are natural, marriage, straightness, being a woman, being a mother, also require extremely strict laws to uphold them and violence from the state, loved ones, or vigilantes to maintain. Isn't that always interesting? I mean, this is an eternal argument that you can always remember, which is the fact that if these things are so natural, you would assume they would occur naturally without the need for an enormous state to enforce them. But that never happens. Isn't that odd? Hmm. If, Almost like um, nature arguments are stupid. We used artificial insemination instead of having sex. I mean, because we're talking about kissing right now, but like nutting in a in a in a pussy bear, that's a way. Like whatever kissing is, that's like sure, twenty times not? higher up on the whole like temptation <laughs> to engage in the material pleasures of sex. Quick. So if we did artificial insemination, wouldn't that be like a like a, a even better way to avoid lust altogether? Well, the, the, my issue isn't about lust. It's about uh, doing things out of order, away from you know, like sex out of out of marriage. You know, sex inside of marriage. Well, that's better. Is uh, acceptable, I guess. <laughs> well, even so marriage you end isn't up natural. Having, oh, right, yeah, you end totally up. Facade. You have the babies that you that uh, God gives you, or whatever, and um, and hopefully in ha have the sex inside of the marriage doesn't become uh, just using each other and false worship and I think ego Anthrop feeding. Anthropologically, when we go back, Delicious. it seems like humans oh, natural yeah, state guys, seems to be fucking... Oh, yeah, guys, that false worship. See, remember how I said that, like, the ideal Christian relationship is a uh, dominant, dominant submissive relationship under God? Like, that's the ideal Christian relationship is a male-female dom-sub relationship. Right there, he just he just uh, uh, made a reference to that. Um, Christians believe that the that that one of the two purposes of sex is procreation and worshiping your significant other. That sex is how you worship your significant other. Of course, they don't actually they don't actually take that to mean like, well, then don't you think you should maximize pleasure? No, they just mean that. 
basically a woman is supposed to worship her husband. The husband is his charge, so when he wants sex, she needs to worship him by paying attention and giving him the sex that he wants. It is so fucking stupid, but you just heard him reference that. So I'm, I'm, I just want you to know, when, I say, when I've said that in the past, I'm referring to a very common belief among Christians. They genuinely believe that the ideal relationship is a BDSM dom-sub relationship approved by Christ. Pretty often. Like, you know... That's fine. Even fine before too. marriage was a thing. Because, of course, marriage isn't natural. You know, that's a contract religiously and socially that we came Ooh, about story with. Story moment. Like, Hold people on, we gotta pause. We gotta do the story moment, everybody. You mind us? Ooh, who is it? It's our boy! Hey, Prince Ed. Sisyphus! I'm slacking off with the old boulder here, but I was just getting back on my feet. The Fury sisters don't often leave me be. Where'd they go, anyway? And, um, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just out on a little stroll is all. Do me a favor, though. You see the Fury sisters. Let them know I was headed down the way I came from, will you? Oh, I'll let them know, all right. I hear you loud and clear, your highness. I'll just go about my business now and... He's a bro. Sisyphus is a bro. He's looking out for you. He gives us a gift, too. Well, we want darkness, I think. I got you covered, Prince. Thank Cheers, you, buddy. Mate. Let's talk to Boldy. Oh, we can't talk to Boldy yet? Oh. Sorry. All right. Story moment over. Always been fucking. No. We're biologically designed to you want do to do it. that. Like, that's yeah, one of the very the few you. Hell yeah. types of our behavior that are like, in, a, like a fully ingrained, like completely like that's in every society to have ever yes! existed it's up there with you eating know, and drinking it's I'll it's completely rooted there, in how we are and what we are so given all that i mean you, I'm letting you have this. like it seems like if we wanted to defer to natural order we would all just be fucking whoever we wanted and anything outside of the satiation of our natural desires would be um like an, an unnatural ah, imposition the dead uh when god put adam and eve together he married them so marriage has been with us. Sex is, like I've said before, and I think it kind of is, sex is marriage. You're, you become one. So you what? should have, be faithful. Hey there, Mike. Um, that is such a... And all of what, that, that all isn't of Christian, sex isn't stuff, Christian. I don't think it's quite as... Oh, by the way, the idea think, like, oh, yeah, sex is one. marriage. No, the way no is there like, in that direction. to you, because you Christians explain. will just literally blur words together. But he literally... Uh, Christians, when they're stuck in a corner, will refuse to acknowledge that words mean different things. It's like how they will say, God is love. So anytime you say, well, I love my wife, well, they go, well, that's, you know, you're using the word love wrong. See, love actually means God. You don't God your wife. Uh-huh. <laughs> Checkmate, atheist. You're more stubborn than your father. I never thought that such a thing was possible. All right, we gotta do a boss fight when um, we listen. Let's do this. I don't think it's quite like what your mind is toward it. I think that you'll notice, like I mentioned before, kids are not sexual, but they get sexualized, and the ones who are in the worst situations, the ones from fatherless homes, the ones I think in, I think after the pandemic, the kids are getting here. going, young girls are going through puberty earlier. I don't know if it's all the stress or what. They don't even know why. But it was was reported that it they're going through reported. puberty earlier, nice, nice. and so this is kind of an an unnatural thing that is happening, and it's not a positive thing. No, um, you don't. I can't really You're speak to that. I don't know anything about it. Um, I, I will I will say though that um, a conflation that you've made that I often see religious people make is the conflation of God and nature, but they're decidedly not the same thing, even in biblical canon. Nature True. and natural will are not God's will. God's will is that we triumph over nature and be moral in spite of Ooh, elements of evil. Vosh has been, oh, Vosh has been buffing up his anti-Christian argument. True, it is true that God does command humans to have dominion over nature, which means explicitly God doesn't want people to give in to what is natural. Hmm, how curious that exist within us. 
Um, like, p Love humans it. have naturally violent and sexual desires, but, you know, in, a, in the Christian doctrine, the goal is to overcome those desires um, and to live a moral life, like, in spite of the challenges associated with that. But when you say stuff like, do what's natural, well, what's natural has nothing to do with morality. What's natural is, like, human tribes, like, beating and murdering or raping each other. That's what we did for a very long time. And then, you know, God is the one who wants us to rise above that. So, like, you can't you can't switch back and forth between doing what's natural and doing what God wants because those are decidedly not the same thing. You can't say anal sex isn't natural because natural is whatever we were doing, and we were doing that, so it is decidedly natural. Um, same with kissing. We have records for humans kissing that go as far back as we have anthropological evidence of human coupling at all. The, even though kissing doesn't serve any reproductive oh, geez, benefit. Um, yeah, but yeah, those are those are like two. Like, I deserve that. I they don't even overlap that much, I was those categories. Debate. Yeah, they do, man. I think you you and Hunter was Hunter Avalon was trying to pull this this kind of thing on me or somebody. Um, God made the natural order: man over woman over children, man and woman together to have the children and raise the children. That is natural, and it is God's natural order. He's nature, and nature is God. So yeah, there's there's. Stuff that oh, there's goodness. perversions that we do inside of nature that's Achilles. frequent and common that because of the, right our now, fallen state, that. but that you doesn't make it. It doesn't trouble. make it natural yeah, or or according to the natural like order. Well, no, wait. You just contradicted yourself right there. Go ahead. If if God is good, then God cannot be evil. But the world contains evil. So that or must Medusa. either be God having created oh, no. evil, evil oh, existing outside Medusa. of God, or She's God giving Trump entities within his creation the ability to choose, which you don't believe in. So you either have to concede that God created evil, in which case something created by don't God could be both natural no and evil, that. and thus the natural what? deference wouldn't be a valid way of defending something, or alternatively, Who's that that um, that, uh, uh, that, that exists outside of God's Someone creation, which is, work. as I understand it, a heretical suggestion. So no. y you ca these two categories Actually, can't boy, overlap no perfectly. Something is either natural and evil and within house. or without God's oh, purview, but you can't have something at the same know. time be evil, be natural, but also be of God. Like it, 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 like it can't be both. You want so bad to take away this natural word from me. Why is that? Um, well, because they're not the same thing. If you say, like, it's not natural for humans to have, like, anal sex or whatever, well, nice. in nature, humans did have anal sex. So, like, that's a... All right, we got to listen to Nyx. We got to pause the debate and listen up to Nyx. Ah. We're going to give her one of these things. Let's give Mama a gift. Mommy. Um, Nyx, you've done so much for me. I thought you might like this. You know your father does not like it when nectar is doled out on the premises, dear child. However, I am not he, and I wished regardless to provide you a token of my affection. <gasps> Thank you! The I'm black shawl! Nyx. Hell yeah! Let's talk to, let's talk to Nyx again. Darkness guides you, child. You have outgrown this house. Of that I am now certain. Should you return again here, I shall keep you safe. Thank you, Nyx. I won't forget you, Nyx, I swear it. All right, back to the debate, because we're going on to the next floor. Settled argument. That's an empirical thing. Homosexuality is But that doesn't make it natural. Well, if, if something isn't natural, despite it existing in it's nature, then you're here. referring to natural as a kind of euphemized substitute for divine, which is what Nailed I'm accusing it. you of. You're, you're making right. up the word. Nailed it. Um, got it. Okay. Vosh, well, I'm still going to use it because your explanation stress. was overly complicated, not simple. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Well, so I'm just an atheist. Piece of advice, boy. Yeah, you don't, you you're don't referencing like God and Christianity. Were you raised a Christian even? A no, I was not. So then I mean, you don't have a clue. Uh, just, uh... You're even less logical than... Well, I don't know if you're less logical than Hunter Avalon. I think Hunter but Avalon's anyway. a pretty smart cookie, personally. Yeah, he's smart, but it doesn't mean that he's wise or sensible. Oh, he, um, but anyway, we're not talking about that. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Let's, well, yeah, let's, let's, let's bring let's, it. Let's bring it back on track. Of course, of course. Let it be known so, that I love him, though. Um, yeah. So, so hey, it, just just real quick. What haven't I, I answered? Well, I don't mean to interject too much, but 
I still think that you have to contend with the argument that was kind of put down on the table of why you think these things are immoral. This is this seems to be where we're where we keep on driving back to, and um, so it looks like Bosch was kind of saying, "Look, uh, you know, you're you're conflating uh, God and natural, and you're kind of making a conflation of these things." Uh, whether that's true or not, it's not for me to decide, but I would like to see that kind of this question addressed a little bit more thoroughly if we like can. That. The God and nature thing for... Uh, no, no, no. The the question the as to the morality, morality or the immorality. Morality of butt sex and all that figure something disgusting out. stuff. Um, disgusting stuff? I think oh I God. explained that pretty clearly. I did point out that there's things that are permissible, perhaps, like kissing and stuff like that. I don't think it's like wise to get too into that. Hermes. I think you should be watching yourself and avoiding falling into temptation. And he brought up food, saying, well, you're probably more laissez-faire about food as though... I love Hermes. Oh, it, cut, it skipped the dialogue. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, as though that's a justification. But sure yeah, I think that Hermes, so. people need to watch yeah, themselves go. morally dash charges, with hell yeah. their relationship with both food and with sex because these are hang-ups. And when, you're, when you have hang-ups... You're not your own man, and when you're not your own man, you can't be following God. Actually, I wanna Stand I wanna aside. touch on that. So okay. with with regards to temptation, okay? So I think you said earlier you don't think there's anything inherently wrong with having sex or whatever. Um, it's that it's that it leads you in bad directions. The temptation puts you like in a bad way. So I guess I would wonder, like, if you had a God. human, like a man, let's say a man, because I know you're preferable. Um <laughs> If you had a man who was perfectly free of temptation, like they enjoyed the fruits of the earth, but they were just not subject to demonic influence. You know, they could they could eat anything, do anything, and they would be pious through and through. What what do you think it would be okay for them to do if there was no risk of them falling into anything mm. worse than what they've already question. done? They won't won't have a co co coherent answer. I don't I understand the question. Like if they like say there was a person who wanted to just fuck around and just fuck hot chicks, Hold you know? Um, and he could do this, but he's a deeply pious man and he loves the Lord and he's capable of having sex without engaging in idolatry or worship, without weakening himself. All the negative side effects, he can control them. Die. He has a strong enough will to fuck without it draining him ethically. Do you think it would be right for him to do so because he has the temperance to manage that level of indulgence? Or do you think that... Gift even the threat, even if it's mm. not happening yet. Like, it, like you can't even try. I don't really like these imaginary scenarios ah, because look at that, this is no not answer. based in reality. But I imagine that such a man wouldn't be even interested in that at that ah, point. Sidestepped it! Are, um, are not men of the cloth interested in fine dining? I mean, I, I may not be a religious person, but I have had friends. But a men of the cloth aren't this aren't this imaginary man that you just described. But they do partake in delicious meals, which is, as you even acknowledged, you a to precursor king, to gluttony. So if you have bishops and priests have and rabbis, count, whatever you may think of I them, you know, um, willfully you, partaking in many pleasures of the flesh, which are not sex, wouldn't, and then still continuing to be great advocates for their god, would it not suggest that it is possible to fighting. willfully indulge oneself, but still be, uh, 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 you know, um, a, a pious man free of yeah. temptation? Yeah, Un under the under the order of God, no if they're there. if they're married, the husband of but one wife is like the New Testament talks about. The uh, uh, leader of the church should be the husband of but one wife, meaning they're under control they're not going wild with it doing doing it out of order well, right. a, what, what if they um, out of order thing. Uh, the reason i bring up food is because i know that despite gluttony and lust both being sins people tend to be a lot more permissive with i understand Wait, right right yeah. so really funny. obviously i notice that notice that hake this entire conversation has perpetually appealed to this idea of like the wrong order but never once has he said why it's bad to do it in the wrong order. He hasn't even said it's because God said so. He's just never addressed it. He's never told us what's wrong with doing things in the wrong order. Why is that a wrong thing? And what makes it the wrong order? The truth is, of course, 
nothing because he hasn't thought about it. I just wanted to point that out. Like for me, I think it would be equally applicable with sex, you know? Uh, and there are probably more people with eating disorders in America than there are people with sex addiction. Uh, though I don't Maybe. have any hard- I don't know. I, I don't yeah. have any hard data on that, you know, it kind of depends on where you draw that's the line. Get. Um, Ooh, let's give Dionysus. Only that it just, it, like, frankly, Dionysus. it just seems incredibly it's arbitrary, thing, you know? Um, Here we go, we, on, let's we're... listen to the dialogue. No, you... Now that is something, a right princely gift there, Zack. And just so happens, I got something here I have been meaning to give you. Ooh. Yay! Thank the you, overflowing Dionysus, cup! Man. Hell yeah! Let's get Dionysus' ability, huh? You're hanging out with Ares, are you, Zag? He's quite the chap. I'll give him that, I'll give him that. And now, I'll give you this. Hmm. Who's the better materialist, Hake or non-complete? I don't know. I think they're both just about... I mean, as far as materialism goes... Yeah, Dionysus and Ares have got some... They got some stuff going on, alright? Listen, we can tell. There's some, there's some flirtiness going on there, okay? I love it. We're put on this earth by God. That's um, we have a finite length of time during which to demonstrate our character. There's and it seems of like of all the you, mortal sins really we good. can commit, of all the things we can do to defy the will of God, boy. you know, murder, rape, you know, torture, whatever, like, we don't horrible shit to each okay. other. And then it's like, okay, yeah, also, like, don't, don't, like, suck a dick. Like, don't do anal sex. <laughs> it just seems bizarrely arbitrary. If it's a personal code you'd like to indulge in, that's fine, but I don't know how you can fairly argue that other people are suffering for their indulgence. Oh, I mean, it's, look around, the, the so-called LGBT community and the people who are loose, Here morally, sexually, who, the so-called straights, are miserable. They're using each other, being used, they're, they're using into, each other? uh, they're all, they're, they're hooked on it. They're hooked on this, the pornography and all that stuff. He really made it. They're not. Um, complete, complete they are suffering vagueness. for what they're doing. But um, why is it that generally um, homosexuals are more unhappy when they're in the closet not having Again, sex make a than they are movie. after they come out of the closet and begin having sex? Open up. Oops. That that beginning point no feels be like a relief to them, I, I imagine. Uh, this is what I've heard about transgenders who, when they first so-called accept their transgenderism, they, they've, it's a great relief. Because they finally accepted who they think they are. They finally quit quit fighting. That's why they um, they're less miserable for a time in those early days. But who knows? Sooner or later, they're, they're suffering in ways they don't know. They're suffering suffering uh, in ways that statisticians don't know either. To my knowledge, yeah, statisticians are are liberals, and liberals lie, and they're not about truth or finding the truth. May I ask? Uh, okay, the, uh, oh, you're a liberal, this is the, oh my god, do you remember, oh my god, a couple of years ago, there was this debate with a Nazi, where the Nazi said that he didn't believe any studies that came out of San Francisco. I do not remember who it was, it might have been Vosh, it might have been some destiny, I don't even know, somebody was debating a Nazi, and the Nazi said he didn't believe any studies because they came, the, any studies that were presented because some of them came out of San Francisco. This is, that was Sargon. Okay, that was the Sargon. Okay, I knew I was remembering it. They do this all the time. Oh, well, people who've studied this have not been able to find this bold claim that you're making. And then they go, well, that's because they're liberals. They're doing liberal science, which means none of what they did mattered. I don't need to think about it. Thought terminating cliche. I don't have to consider the evidence because it's evil evidence. By or what finding... evidence you're suggesting they become less happy over time? Well, look at how angry the, the average oh, radical homosexual is. They're just nasty, vicious, malicious people. I think they're nice. You think they're nice because you're nice to them. You agree with them. Oh. Have you seen how they treat the Christians? Well, <laughs> I, I can't imagine why they would be angry at you. Um, you know, perhaps There's we're disagreeing no on things they consider, uh, <laughs> they consider quite important. Um, right. Uh, well, you know... Regardless I understand of that the why Christians they might be angry. have been that Christians have not always been right in how they how they fight, but the gays are quite nasty the and they're just they're doing unto others what they imagine was done unto them or something like that. They're preventing they're you from having vicious. sex. <laughs> Nobody's pre nobody prevented gays from having so-called sex. They Dude, yes, were it is literally illegal. Anti-sodomy laws and arrested and sterilized Good. by the state. 
What? Good for their own good. Well, that would be preventing them from having sex. That's well, I mean, that's not actual sex, but that's like this is kind of silly Hake, because people, if Hake, they were caught, you're being female-minded right now. Come on. No, hold on. Listen, <laughs> you're being female-minded. Hold on, man. If they were caught, you you shouldn't you shouldn't be shameless about that, anyways. Part of, we part of the thing is when you allow evil, evil just Baby grows. Baby brain. It no, starts to no, become more no and more demanding. Now here. they're forcing the Christians into the closet, just for being decent what? and saying that this is wrong, keeping you from having I sex. Olympus. No, but that's not, sex is not the end. Ah. All wait, they're if they keep us you... from our freedom of speech, if they put more the... important, your freedom of speech is more important than so-called sex. It, uh, I agree with that. If they put you in the closet and kept you from having sex, wouldn't that be them being Christ-like? Because they would be do. Because Freedom of speech and freedom of expression are the same right. Your right to freedom of speech and freedom of expression, that is the same right. One is not more important than the other because they're the same thing. It's two forms of expression. What? Because you said but base. I didn't say they were keeping us from having sex. But what if they did, though? What if the gays, would that be good if the gays kept the, the straights <laughs> no, from man. having sex? Well, they kind of are because they're pushing this pornography thing and you see what? the kids are not... The kids are ro becoming remaining kids until they're 30. Look at you, man. They're yeah, gonna... I make a living playing uh, video games. I know, and and like it's it's a widespread thing that um, oh, people are getting goodness. older and older and not marrying, not having kids, and that's not good no. for society. Because of the homosexuals? I'm not blaming just the homosexuals. There's more than one way to be evil. Um, There's at least spiritually two or three. and sexually. What's that? Oh, there's at least two or three, as I understand it. <laughs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> the, where, um, where were we? What, what haven't I answered? Oh, goodness, who knows. No, it doesn't matter what you have or haven't answered. Um, it's all about the vibes, which is a very homosexual thing of me to say, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> uh, the, um, so, with regards to um, you know, the, the ethics of it all, I, I do have to ask, you know, why... You say you don't believe in free will, you know, normally that's a pretty oh, standard Calvinism. part of Christian Ooh. doctrine. There are a couple of sects that don't believe in it, like that's why I brought up the Calvinists earlier. Um, and that's a pretty critical distinction, because usually one of the strongest arguments... You said you were in, f uh, in favor of free speech, but most of your positions seem to contradict with an that's advocacy sound. for that's individual true. rights, you know? Um, it, it, either you believe people should be able to make their own mistakes, or you don't. You know, there aren't there. There's only so much like leverage you can you can put in there to selectively affect different communities. So people want to have sex, and according to you, ruin their own lives. Is that not their right as American citizens? Wait, um, it, I suppose bit, you could say it is their bit, right. There was a bit in the in the recent contrapoints video that was like this, where it was like, "I believe in freedom," and it was like, "Okay, so then people should be able to have sex how they want." It was like, "No, you're being free the wrong way." Well, who gets to decide what's the right way to be free? Well, father, of course. It's not. Now we're getting into like policy a little bit, but I, I've, I'm fine with it. I, keep me going, I say that this is not good for society, and when you. When you let evil out of the closet, rather than people being quiet about it, not accepting it wrong is right, having some shame, having some dignity, Can't get rid of me, man. Um, it gets yeah, worse. Are, it grows. Yeah. We, you, we've seen this. The slippery slope stuff that the 80s Christians were warning about is real, like the child sexualization and all that stuff. The, they said, oh, we're not looking for same-sex marriage. Sure enough, they were. And we're, we're not going to... There's all kinds of... I think they were saying they wanted same-sex marriage. I think they were pretty explicit about Decades back, I don't think that they were. Uh, depends they were on who you've been not listening to. Be. Wait, who... who what were they arguing for if not same-sex marriage? That's been like the main remember. thing for. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I feel like that's I been the main remember. thing for a while. Come on, and of course, dude. you know, now we're talking trans Come rights on. and it goes on and on, um, which is brilliant yeah. stuff, right? I mean, that's the I advocacy of civil rights. You know, we used to argue about whether or not slavery was moral. Before that, it was the monarchies. Uh, you know, we had the Reformation. Before that, the uh, Protestant oh gosh, Reformation. You know, no, you'll always find whiners, no matter how far back you go. But generally speaking, the world turns out a better place for those whiners. No, no, man. That's uh, we're not better off. Nobody's better off for the so-called civil rights movement Whoa! Or, uh, Whoa! or this LGBT stuff. It has not been good for society. Gotcha. The blacks are worse off after the civil rights movement, and the LGBT <laughs> people are more... more I'd prefer if we steered clear 
of uh, uh, okay. the the, you the know, racial stuff. argument. It really has nothing to do with the. Uh, Let's talk about the hand. sexual revolution. Nazis though. can't help themselves. Uh, since we since we touched on this. Yeah, the the sixties, birth control, all that. Yeah, all that Shit. stuff. That hasn't been good for society. I think Crime it's been pretty good. Gone out of control. Thank you. Well, wait, mothers. Oh, let's if if we could. All right, everybody. I'm gonna let the show roll for a second. I gotta pee. True, not this determinism thing. All right, everybody. It's time. We're Drug going back war. to the dungeon. It's uh, time. That's a pretty directly attributable factor there. I don't know if you can really attribute that to the sexual revolution. Single mothers. Well, single right. mothers have gone up, you can't but just it's say really difficult to know mothers. whether or oh not God. that's a good thing or not. Hey, because it turns out a lot of these single mothers are just women who would have been in miserable marriages beforehand. And I don't think it's right no, to man. consign a woman to a horrible domestic life for the rest of her existence, you know, because she made a mistake in marrying a man back when, like, she was, like, 19 or something. That seems pretty, pretty messed up. No, yeah, no fault. Divorce has been bad for society. Hey, listen. Have you considered that perhaps there is a socioeconomic reason for why children don't do so well in single parent families? Have you considered that perhaps the reason why there are so many single parent families is because of the pressure for people to get married before they actually know each other? SINGLE MOTHERS! NO! SINGLE MOTHERS, GUYS! Sorry. And then I don't know Sorry. if you're ignorant or being dishonest, mm -hmm. but single mothers are the yeah, ones who are disproportionately raising the thugs who are doing these violent crimes. Why do you think there might be a relationship between here. single motherhood just, and criminality? Because mothers are pushed, they, they're Getting angry, good. stressed out, and pushing yeah, that anger good. onto the kids unprotected by the fathers. So then why, the, then why so is the it boys, that single mothers... So the boys go out, act out and go crazy and the girls go crazy too. Well, then why is it that single mothers in wealthier neighborhoods don't see nearly as significant an increase slain. in uh, criminality with their children? What's this one do? Because the evil comes out in in other ways right, too. Man, there's no there's all sorts of ways that oh. They're, you think they're not you think they're you think they're happy with their single mothers? No, These, no, no, wait. Uh, I I agree with what you just said. The evil yeah. comes out in other ways. Or to put it another way, the evil of criminality is something associated not with single motherhood, but rather with low-income households. Please. Well, that is what the data shows. You could say that, but it's, but it's, by and large, the single mothers are poor because they're not. But you, but I don't believe that this poverty. I don't believe this poverty causes crime thing. The mothers are angry. It's a difficult thing to not believe. What's that? We get to summon it's a difficult the thing to not believe. Fuck yes. The greatest indicator of crime in America, not just in America, actually, everywhere, like everywhere on Earth, is income inequality. So it's not sick. people being poor or people being wealthy. It's poor and wealthy people being next to each other because it causes social issues. Wealthy and poor people both rely on different types of social services and they rely on different types of infrastructural investment. And usually, services are deferential yeah, towards the wealthy in areas with both courses. wealthy and poor people. Poor people so what you get then is a divide, stores. where poor Simple people exist and are down. underserved both socially and economically. And that tends to be what causes crime, because there aren't enough jobs to go around for the poor people. After the drug war and the availability <laughs> of crack cocaine, which ramped up, you know, in the 1980s, there were a lot of non-jobs available in inner city areas. Uh, and what are you going to do if you're a young man in that Sometimes place but, like, trade in the drugs? Because it allows you to feed your family, which is a pretty noble thing, all to do. Oh, this is so good. This is, poison. You're being Purple. silly right now. Oh, we got you're, you're running in circles to avoid Look, gives us a giving bomb. any responsibility to the evil bomb. of the mothers. And you're also acting... The evil of the mothers. Vosh didn't talk about a, a evil as in p fathers are bad. He talked about the, the evils being inflicted on people by wide-scale policy decisions but remember christians their brains are most christians of this type are truly not smart enough to actually think about things beyond shit they read in their book and shit that their pastor and or favorite youtuber told them like like this correlation is is a uh, causation it's not it is true. It is, you can't directly say. And there's a say, whole lot of exploitation of, you know, the class warfare stuff that is. These people are misguided and misled. You look at the individual lives of these people who are raising the criminals. 
they're out of control people. You can see why they became criminals. This seems like a it's spurious not anecdote thing. I wanna... on your part. What's well, the anecdote? Well, you're just sort of talking, right? There's plenty of data on the relationship between criminality and income differentials. Correlation is not causation. Man. It's true. Oh, it's impossible on, to directly determine causation, but this is a very strong correlation. It's not correlation. impossible. It's not impossible, man. With a with a factor as sociological If you have complicated. common sense, if you ah. have some common sense, ah. you can see you're being that female minded uh, again, Hake. Yeah, you gotta you gotta also, Hake, try to give Vosh a, a minute to respond to what you're All saying right. here because you made a lot of points. Yeah, I don't mean to ramble or nothing. Um, but common sense, a, a deference you would expect from a woman, hey, come on. Um, no, we're talking hard data. Us masculine brains can handle stuff like this if we put our mind to it. Um, no, nope. of course, when it comes yeah. to sociological stuff like this, it's like there are so many uh, confounding factors. You know, so much, um, so much, uh, so many potential explanations. You know, of course, you're never going to get a 100% correlative positive relationship. You can get strong ones, though. And we're talking, again, about the sexual revolution here. Um, I don't even think the sexual revolution was necessarily the thing that caused the divorce rates to go up. It was just the end, or the beginning of no-fault divorce, you know? The ability Not a good just, idea. Right. So, I have to ask you then, why should... So, y earlier you said you want to talk morality rather than, like, policy, but you're defending bad policies here. Yes, that's why good policies. Good call. Well... You, I assume, would want to get rid of the ability to file a no-fault divorce. Yes. Right. That's a policy. So that policy, <sighs> um, which it seems really odd to me, because, you have like, if you chaos. made a mistake in who you married, why shouldn't you be able to divorce them? I mean, ha has your reverend not benefited from the existence so of this policy? Hey, the will to no, fight. he's never been married, man. He was engaged twice, but never married. How many children? He doesn't believe in. He doesn't does, believe in divorce. How many re children does the reverend have? He made one child out of wedlock at eighteen. And if he had married with that woman, the woman with which whom he, he no longer speaks, to do. which he did, but then he cut contact with her, right? Or she cut no, contact with him? No, he did not con cut contact with her. The the mother of that so. woman made her marry the child's stepfather, rather than wait and marry marry Jesse. Would Jesse's life have been better if there had been no choice involved? If the marriage what had already been cemented about? and there had been no room to back out afterwards? Who, Who knows? Person? That's a that's a that's a what if. It is a what if. I generally think that people are better off when they have choices in their pretty. lives. The, that's why you take this choice to get married seriously. Yes, but any choice capable of extending over the length of your lifetime is a choice that you might eventually end up regretting. Nobody can know what they're going to be like 30 years in the future. No yeah, human no can, one. no matter how responsible or well-prepared you are. People change with time. I think it's horrible, the idea... Don't get me wrong, people who stay married their whole lives, I think that's a wonderful thing, you know, matrimony yes, and all that. Yes, but it's very rare, because um, most people don't know If they want well. to leave, why consign them to that fate? And why consign the children that's okay. to an adolescent surrounded by parents who hate each other? That's also a high predictor, by the way, for crime. Um, when children see their parents go, like, like marital, marital instability between their parents, that's something psychologically that's often a precursor to other problems. Because these that's kids, why we need, that's why we need, back, that's why we need morality. What if they just don't get along anymore? That's not even a moral thing. That's just yes, it is a moral thing. You, not getting along? You're acting like, you're acting like two adults can't suck up and accept their lot in life. For, for their whole lives to be... So you're not even talking about getting along. You're just talking about, like, forcing so it for your entire life. Lightning shield throw. This is all, this is all like a what-if thing, but yes. Well, it's a what-if that it happens, just, right? There are plenty of unhappy married couples out there. Right, and you know why they don't get divorced? Well, I think they should. There are a lot of children of unhappy couples that say they wish their parents had just gotten divorced because they would have much rather have been raised by one parent than raised by two parents who hate each other, yeah. which thus give them a really fucked up view of relationships. Like, but imagine what a kid thinks but of relationships when they grow up with a man and a woman who hate each other. Like, that's got to set you down the wrong road from the beginning. But you're comparing evil to evil, and you're giving us a false dilemma. 
It's not huh? evil to dislike a person you married. Humans change. I know, but it's an, you, you just admitted that it isn't evil no, that what? the kids suffer. I'm using evil in the sense of it's a, it's a misery. The evil is them they, staying together. They can choose the, to leave. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, but that's not a, that's not a good, that's not a solution. Karen's shop. If you're two people one like evil, other, you're comparing one evil, which is divorce, well which children made. of divorce don't let's have a look at your t show. tend to do well, and to uh, the the evil of them being miserable and staying together, which is the same thing. You're basically comparing the same thing. If it's the same, let's we've say reached, it's the same thing, actual, which I don't. Uh, believe. Well, it's not exactly the same thing because you just described that they they stay together and they get I miserable. I caught that point. Like right. About. If we were yeah. to believe that that would lead so to the same confusing. outcome for the children. Do the parents not have a right to find other people who they'll love? There is no, there is no, the parents don't have any love. And that's why they're, that's why they're miserable together. They're not right, going to be so happy find with somebody people. else. No, they shouldn't find new people. If you don't have love, then you're not going to love somebody else. Do you love me, Hake? Would you fuck me? This should work. No, that's wrong. But you could love somebody else. But that's not love anyway. You shouldn't get married for this quote unquote love thing. That's a that's a fake idea. People don't know what love actually is. Interesting. I believe what the guy who thinks that all sex should last less than six mi that less than one minute is telling you that you don't know what love is. Okay, bro. What, what you're is saying love? right now, if I'm Baby, not mistaken, is heretical. Me. The idea of love is a bonding mechanism no that God gave human beings as a way of encouraging, like the love humans feel for each other is a reflection of the love that God has for all men. By denying the existence no. of love, especially as a precursor to marriage, I'm pretty sure you're turning your back on God's love. No, man, because the, the men and women who get married, they don't tend to love each other, but they, they um, the hopefully, right they start to actually love each other, right? Normally, they're into sex. Or all right, shut up. We have to do. We have to pay attention because we're about to go down and meet my so favorite character of the, the game. Of yes, yes! let's do this. Ah, oh, don't see why not. They sound amazing. Anyway, let's get some other thing, and then hopefully they overcome the sex and find actual love. I think you might be Which projecting is... some of your feelings towards women on. Other people? Because yep. generally speaking, I think when people <laughs> marry, people going. well, there are a lot of reasons why people can marry, of course, but I generally don't think people marry for the sex. Like, you can just fuck people if you want. I know, no. they're hooked, though, oh, by no. the sex. Oh. I can just have sex with people without <laughs> marrying them. Why would I marry someone if I just want pussy? The world is sealed off. But a lot of people want to be more traditional than you, even the so-called gays, they want to be more traditional than you. So they think that they, they think that this marriage this thing will be forever, their in the meantime, I family that they want, the love that they want. But they're, so they're looking for love and they think that they have love, but that's, that's not the, the kind of so-called love that human beings have towards each other. As you just admitted, 30 years down the line or less, it sours. That's not it's love. Not love fault, lasts. I don't think That's anything different, Very different from God's love. Well, God's love lasts? is eternal, sure, but I don't think <laughs> yeah. that any interhuman love lasts. Humans change. And I think that we should have a right to find new partners for ourselves when we find that our current partners, and I, or you, or whoever else, no longer um, have like much in whip? common and don't get along that you well anymore. Rat. That's gay. Partners is a gay term, and the divorce and remarriage hey, is... Hey, I'm... That was amazing. This gay. Partners is a gay term, and I refuse to acknowledge it. I refuse! That's gay as fuck! That's gay as fuck, bro! Gay. Of course I would no, say you're not. partners. I, I, hey, the last sexual <laughs> interaction I had was me sucking cock, okay? I'm gay enough for you. TMI. Um, um, the, but my point is, this divorce and remarriage is part of that immorality. It's selfishness. You're, you're thinking, oh, the grass is greener, but that's leading to more misery. Well, it seems like misery in this case is being caused by um, the expectation that people stay together in perpetuity when they don't like each other. If people could just remarry and find new love, wouldn't that solve the problem right there? Clearly, it's clearly that's what they're trying to been trying to do for the past I don't know six, how many years, how many decades. 
and that has hasn't helped. In society, people have been divorcing and remarriage, and that hasn't that has not. People are, haven't been got her happier. Yes. They're more miserable. Um, They're I more think mentally ill speaking, and all that stuff. When you yes. ask people who divorce if they're happy with their divorce, they almost always say sort of yes. Power, the people who initiate the divorce, they don't tend to regret it down the line. So while many things have changed, I think if we isolate the specific of the effect of no-fault divorce filings, the outcome tends to be good, right? There's a reason they divorced, <laughs> right? Yeah. No, yeah, how, is yes. that, how is that good just because the person who because filed the divorce be, feels because happy? Because people shouldn't be kept prisoner in a relationship they no longer want to be in. I mean, unless that's your really like you're, that's totally your kink. If you like to be kept prisoner in a relationship, that's up to you. But if people don't want to be kept prisoner, they shouldn't have to be. That's fucking crazy. Anybody gets this except for Christians, because Christians literally do not give a shit about consent. Um, we've talked about this before, but Christians do not value the the, the concept of consent. They do not care. We've talked about this with uh, Rush Limbaugh once went off a rant about it. But more importantly, um, uh, Dennis Prager is a great example of somebody who wrote from a Christian perspective why consent isn't important. They fucking do not give a shit. Christianity, like, f as far as a philosophy is concerned, the philosophy and religion of Christianity, consent is not valuable to them. They don't care. God tells you to do what you're supposed to do, and if you don't do it, whether you like it or not, you're wrong. Fear. Which is, most of the time, that's a woman. He is to sure. a pleasant is that not the that right? Ask for them. Uh, I don't believe so. I don't believe it's a right. I don't think that you should have a... I don't think that human beings have a right to divorce. Do you think people... Like that. Do you think people you don't have, have a, a right, right to pursue their look at, happens? But you're just looking Jesus at the Christ. woman. You're looking at the woman. Oh, she's happier, therefore it's a better outcome. But you're not looking at the children, the, the father, the father who gets screwed over, right, the woman. and you're no, looking. I, how like do we the know the father got screwed gotten, over? Like society, I think, has gotten. How do you know that a fa he? Listen, he presumes that in all divorces, the father always gets screwed over. This is so worse, stupid. and I don't know this if you. So I don't know if you see that. Well, I think that society has gotten worse in many ways, but the freedom to choose your partners is probably one of the few things that has gotten decidedly better. Um. With regards to the children, no, you know, I think the real thing that we need here, you know, you're concerned about people who grow up in a single family household. Wasn't and you should be, because it sucks. Single, single mother single. household. Well, results are pretty bad with the father as well. Though you just tend not to see single, um, you tend not to see single father households because usually the women right. are the ones who take the children. Bad but idea. Well, the outcomes are bad in either case. So in terms of whether it's a good idea or not, you know the reason that it's divorce better courts- for the Better with the fathers. The reason divorce courts tend to favor um, women isn't actually because they're sexist against men. It's usually because men don't actually want the children. That's overwhelmingly the reason why women get it in the divorce settlements. It's because the men don't even want to raise yes, the children. So the women are the ones being I don't know if there. that's... Uh, <laughs> no, man. They know. are. The men are, the men are abandoning the children. The woman... No, they're not. They, yeah, they are. Wait, no, they're not. they totally are. Yeah, they no, have the divorce not. proceedings, and the like. The mother wants to take care of the kids, and the father's like, "Nope, I want to go back to living the bachelor lifestyle." They're godless, yep. Hake. It's they're female-minded. But the actual that, female that, there is the one who stands up and takes care of the kids. But she's not. She's she's taking care of herself. And the um, kids. That is that is not true. There. Well, I don't know if I don't know These about, about so the pathetic. statistics on how many say, Christian. "Oh yeah, go ahead." Maybe. There is literally, there is no more insecure human than a Christian male. Tell me I'm wrong. Christian, me Christian men, quote unquote, Christian men. They just don't want to fight with the woman over because she, but there, there are a lot of men who want their children okay. and the women make it hell for them. And I, you, Whatever, I would be surprised if you didn't know that. You shall regret uh, this. Well, uh, certainly in the case of millions of divorces, you're going to have instances where that happens. I'm only describing I mean, something just, that happens you, quite you often. Don't be so dismissive. I'm not. I'm making, of course, I'm being a bit flippant here. And there's here. no such thing as, as sexism anyway. The, the gotcha. courts are, are, are female-minded. It is true. But anyway. 
Um, at I any rate, we've established that. People complain right. more about the unfairness towards men in these courts than is actually warranted. A lot of men just want to go back to fucking, you know, like, chicks they pick up from the bar without worrying about kids. And don't get me no, wrong, man, I, I don't somebody believe who likes that it's, that's fucking enough. chicks from bars, you know. I, I, I don't I believe that lads. they're complaining she more is than is warranted. I, I don't think that... I think you're speaking a little bit ignorantly and, and overly flippantly on that issue. I will admit I'm speaking flippantly, but I feel like it's proportional to the tone of the conversation. But I could be more serious <laughs> if you would prefer. No, no, I, I mean, I'm just making a point uh, because there Guys, are... Christian masculinity is designed to produce two types of, me of men, okay? Listen, I'm dead serious about this. Christian masculinity is designed to produce alpha and beta men. There are men who belong at the top of the hierarchy, and there are other men who deserve to be abused and undercut perpetually. That is Christian masculinity, and they keep this shit up. And that's why I say that Christian men are the most insecure people on the planet. Because guess what? There's only enough room for a handful of top dogs. The rest get the abuse and undercut treatment, which makes them fucking insecure as shit for the rest of their lives because every man they know is constantly trying to undercut them men the, the dudes are always tearing each other down they're constantly fucking trying to do like play dominance games with one another which results in the most insecure men in the entire fucking planet the christian men a lot of men who want their children I think and, that whoever is the better parent should be the one so who gets silly. the children. It's so silly to pretend these women are being godly. Give me a break. They think they're God. Well, but if, they're... You, um, if you make the choice to take care of kids when you know it's going to be very difficult as a single mother, I would say that's a fairly noble thing to do. Wouldn't oh, you yes. say? So noble. They're getting subsidized like crazy, subsidized by the father and the government. Yes, yeah, so single subsidized. mothers are just resplendent with wealth, Hey, That they're, is how they're it works. They're spoiled. Yeah, totally. Uh, that's Indeed. why women are lining up to be single mothers these days. It's definitely yeah. something they actively fight for and not something that happens to them against their will. Happens to them. Yeah. Well, well there's these if poor they get... innocent victims. Why are uh, you being yeah. such a simp about this stuff? What's going on well, this house? is the thing, and this is why I think it's funny you that you pretend to be Christian. That much it's that um, you're Hermes. decidedly less Christ-like than some of the more degenerate atheists that I've known in my day. It's not just that you don't, so it's you don't bad. feel love. Well, hold on. You don't feel love for others, so you reject God's love and you assign that rejection to others, which is oh, weird enough that. on its own. But you look at virtue and you call it sin. What are you but antichrist like in doing so? Women who sacrifice portions of their life to take care of kids, knowing the odds are stacked against them, you Moving look right at them along. and sneer because you hold hate in your heart. No, you, are, you are someone who would be a better beneficiary of Reverend Jesse's teachings than almost any. man I've ever spoken to. It's so obvious the way you deride those you speak of. I could never, it, never in my conversations, have I speak in, spoken of, of, of any group uh, who's, who's for what? For raising children? With this you level just, of derision? You just falsely accuse men of abandoning the children. Many they men do so. The, they can't deal with the women. And the they can't deal is, with the hell of dealing like with the woman and fighting with the woman over the children. I respect you know, Dionysus, the men you, who no, do you, take care of the man. children. But and you, anyway, I was you not disrespect at, I was the women not who take care of the children. No, but there, there's nothing to respect there because they're not That's taking care of the children. Well, you, fine, but it's not, nothing to respect there. That's different from what love like is. You don't have love when you're falsely worshipping these Sorry, women no, as godly and stuff like that. I think it I is Christ-like to take I know you're just sense. being silly. No, I don't, I I'm not being silly at all. I just, it is Christ-like Christ You to have make... no clue what Christ even Hake. was about. Hake, yes. don't get upset like a woman would. Um, but you have no clue what Christ is about. A clear. I think I'm actually oh, a little so bit triggered. more familiar with Christian doctrine than you, it seems. Um, considering the stuff that you've said about love in this conversation is concerning you know Damn, it's interesting fight. your statement that love should not have to do with a marriage um that that like uh you know people like marry for sex and you hope the love develops of it this is actually something closer to what i would expect like a cynic like satanist type to say somebody who would like <laughs> sneer at the institution of marriage and go you know there's no love in that someone who rejects god's love but you claim to champion it while making fun of women who take care of their children it's well, you know the Antichrist, who will sell you every good thing is bad and bad thing is good, right? Are you an agent of his? 
Uh, no. I, I'm making fun more of your false worship. Show me your hand. Females. The back of your right hand, would you? Do you have the mark? <laughs> I want to know. You're laughing you at women who take care of their children. But they're not taking care of their children, and they're doing an awful job oh, at it. No, They've driven the man away, and you're not down. being honest about it. How do you know they've driven the man away? What if this, the man drove them away? I only attacked the man. Let me just kiss up to these these females. Are you accusing are... me of being sexist, hey? No such thing. I'm oh. I'm accusing you of, of kissing up to women, and that's what Satan did. Shades he kissed up to the woman. Are you accusing me of being <laughs> biased towards women instead of uh, equally so? Do so. Right. I can see Dusa right. down here. So Look. you've said that the women drive the men away. What if the men drive the women away? Is that uh, possible in your that's world? True. It, it may. Be. This hake guy is so ridiculous. And by the way, this conversation, we we're not even close to done. We have another hour still. This Christian is going to keep going on for an hour. This is going to be sick. Yeah, it may be possible. Okay, you seem to make I'm a lot a of good assumptions. Time. I'm comfy. My only statement earlier was that I'm oftentimes comfy as fuck right now. you just said uh, that these women are not doing anything Christ-like because angry. they drive the man away. And they then do. They, well, well, we have to pause the... because we're about to meet another one of my favorite characters. Big men. But Rare it takes occasion. two to tango. I'm dealing with both wrongs, and you're only dealing with one wrong. Just blaming, the, demonizing the man, Thank you, and worshiping Volcano. the woman. Not at all. You, you were the one who made the presumption, weren't you? I never said at any point the man drives the woman you away. I only said they separate. Oh. You're the one you who said. They, said you, you didn't say they separate. Welcome you said celery. the man abandoned hey, the yeah, children. As a thing that can happen sure that when we're talking about the bias in divorce court. But you Dash talked like about man, all single mothers still. driving their man away. I didn't say all. Oh. How many would you say? We, oh, the bear uh, claw! Most. I want the claw. Most. I love the claws. Yeah. Why exactly would you say that? Because men oh, yeah. can't deal so, with women. So, real quick, when, when, sometimes there's a small chance for a weapon to have a bonus. And I think this one is plus 20 sh uh, shadow crystals. So we're going to take time, or darkness Barata. is what it's called. We're going to take it. We're gonna take this for the bonus for the bonus shadow crystals. Let's Men go. and women hate I each other. I love the claws. Are you, are you no, a I'm homosexual, Hank? No. I'd like to follow down this line of inquiry. If the good man, Big Papa Fascist, won't stop me, Hank, hey, you <laughs> seem to have an appalling it's sexual aversion. morality. It's kind of open on this. Go Thank ahead. you. Nice. Um, you have <laughs> an appalling aversion to women, Hank. <laughs> you know, if Adam I'm not loved Eve. To them. I'm ready. I don't know if he did. Um, oh. Had he loved her, he would have corrected her and not eaten the fruit and not listened to her. But he listened to her. People make Just mistakes. Just like you're urging people to listen. People to make women. mistakes. Also, those who That's love women love, often Say, trust women because when you love people, you trust them. To you. Sometimes that leads like to bad it, decisions being made. So that's the cost of trusting people. I I <laughs> and that would not be love then, because Thanks, love buddy. loves what's right more than just trusting a, a woman who listened to a serpent. So, love isn't so. When love two means people loving trust what's right other, more than the woman. So, if what? you are in love with a person and you make a mistake together, but you did it because you love the other person, come on in. That isn't love. It's retroactively right, corrected this, to be. Rappy, that was, thank that you was, so in much. In love is not Rappy, actual. That is so generous. It, thank you so much. You did not have to do that at all. Thank you so much. I deeply appreciate that. In love is this fake idea. This you said love is a feeling. It's See, not a feeling, man. You're you're not touched uh -huh. by God, Hake. Even I, an atheist, feel love for others in my heart. You can't feel it because you're Time numb to, to the world. No, I'm not numb to the world. You're numb to I'm God's just... love. How so? You're deaf to God's word. You're blind to God's light. Oh come on. You're godless, <laughs> Hake. Talking like this. Because I'm speaking a language we both understand. I have no, to but, ask. I know, but love. But they, love's not I'm, a feeling. No, it's not a feeling. It's love is love for what's right, love for truth, we'll and treating people right. People treating people the way you would want to be treated. Is God not love? Yes. Are we not God? In the sense no. that He created us, God like, exists in all creation, does He not? No, we, we are of away God. From him. I, I suppose deep down in there, maybe there's maybe there's a faint light in in some of us, but we we're pretty dark. Look around. Even in it, even if you just took this in metaphorical terms, we're quite dark. Your quite mind devil, is dark, Hake. <laughs> the world looks dark see... because you're wearing shades, Hake. 
Whatever, man. Then why is there so much divorce and remarriage and divorce and remarriage and misery and all that stuff? Because well, we, we were given free will by God as a way of testing which of us deserved to live in the kingdom of heaven after our passage. No, come on. Give me give me your view of it. My view? Not, How not do you know your, that's not, not my your, view? Because you, I think you said you're an atheist? I don't actually believe in God, but I do well, believe anyway, that people can love well, each I other. I mean, let's let's be good faith, though, right? Well, like, no, what well is sure, sure. Faith? Well, I, I think that different um, ideologies tend to frame similar ideas in different language. Um, but no, to, to to frame things in a in a more direct sense, Ultra you know. Ultraviolet. Um, Ultra I feel like Thank the, you the so issue here the is that sub. like fundamentalists like Hake conflate a bunch. I don't know if this is too spoilery for this playthrough, but thoughts on Skelly being a certain protag? I don't know. We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. Bunch of ideas. Thank you very much. And Ultra like Violet. make them all the same word, and then any time <laughs> they feel like just sort of. No, no. Uh, intuitively opposed to, they can just like, say chaos. it's against everything. So God no, is nature, and you know, love is when you're right, and oh, being right that. is when you're ethical, and being ethical is when you're with God. So like every idea folds into Everyone, itself, and there's not actually we're any. We're pausing Vosh because it's time to date chaos. Let's do it. All right, back to the debate. Way to critique or examine these thoughts That's or biases success. because it's it's utterly orthodox. It's it's self-referential, you know. Yeah, but you're you, you're flipping, you're throwing around this word love like you know what it is, and you're calling it a feeling, which a lot of people do call the, out their feeling as as love. This whatever it is, this extreme desire or attachment or whatever it is, or affection or compassion or whatever. But um, that's not what actual love is i've i'm consistently i don't i don't know if you're accusing me of being inconsistent but i'm consistently against the notion that love is a feeling or that sex has to do with love i understand that sex makes this this uh, emotional bond or whatever may i but, ask go if ahead, you're Max. familiar with the passage john 4 8 uh read it read it out if you want or he that loveth, recite it. of course he that loveth not knoweth not god for god is love and this was manifested the love of God towards us, and that God sent his only begotten son, and so on and so on. But yeah. four eight is he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Right. Hello there, Dionysus. And most people don't have any love. But what about you? But they think Hake? that they love each other. My authority. Hake does not know love. What about me? Quite clear. You're the one who said you, you don't feel love. Why are you getting personal? Well What's that? Uh, I feel like your perspective you, uh, on this might say? be Why are you getting personal, bro? After what you said tonight, also critical pro. Oh my god, that's so cute! Snake posting, cutie snake. What a cutie! What a cutie! Snake, thank you so much. Hell yeah! Let's continue. Oh my god, did you make me food? Holy shit. It's fooding time? Okay, everybody. We're going to keep listening to the debate while I eat some food, though. Hold on. We're going to put this... We're actually going to put the debate up over here so I can eat my food without uh, repercussion. You want another drink or anything? Uh, no, I still have enough. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you, though. Thank you, though. All right. Let's, uh, let's put the debate up on the screen, and then we can... Uh, no, I'm, I don't, I'm fine I with a little bit of it. Well, I don't think that it's personal. I think what Vosh is trying to do is he's trying to draw out possible inconsistencies based on your worldview, which is exactly what you're doing to him. It's not an ad hom. No, if it no, was, I'm, I would I'm, call it out. No, no, I'm f fine with. I like ad hominems. I think that they are valid. But <laughs> well, I'm not trying to insult. <laughs> You no, know, no, you're not insulting. Go ahead. What was your question? Well, it's it's Sloppy only to say, Joe. you know, it, it it seems to me like your your perspective on this is being motivated by something other than Christian theology, because no. under Christian theology, and I really don't think there's room for interpretation here. Under Christian theology, you would hold love in your heart for all who walk the earth. You would, you know, understand that God is love, and that God, who created the world, made the world of His love. There's no way around these things. These are just fundamental components of Christian Orthodox thinking. Okay. Yeah. So, but you so don't mean mocking those single mothers and mocking them out of love. I don't believe that. Okay, that's fine. Um, 
didn't well, even try. Yeah, it, I don't think you feel love for these people, and that's fine. You don't try. have to love everyone. But it's not feeling love. It's 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 being of love, being for what's right. It's recognizing virtue, and no matter how you slice it, Jesus Christ, who tended to oh, and cared on. for prostitutes, definitely right. would not have been shunning women for being single mothers. Mm -hmm. You know, Mary Magdalene, I'm no, pretty I'm sure just... by any Christian's definition, was more touched by sin than your average single mother. But he, who was willing to, to speak with them, to wash them, you, in your comparatively privileged life, who was not nailed to the cross, who did not live in the old times, you today, sitting on a computer chair, you decry single mothers. True. If Christ could feel that love for Mary, how can you turn away all those women? How can you not see the situation they're in? How can you condescend to them? Their lives are harder than yours and mine. But I'm not condescend. I don't know if I'm, I don't know what you mean by condescend to them. But mm. I'm, I'm saying, I'm pointing out that they're doing a lot of wrong, and I'm not. They're not godly. By you know, they're. Yeah, some of them are trying their best, or maybe they're all trying their best, which is not good. They're not doing good. They're trying their best, but that's not doesn't mean they're doing right. We all sin, but we should celebrate and, the good in sinners, should we not? Even if you were to believe they had sinned, which I don't no, believe all you of them point have. Out, you don't. Uh, you can be mama and like, oh, good for you. You're doing this right, but it's better to call out evil because people. We have a problem of kissing in this culture of kissing up to mothers and single mothers and stuff like right now it Dude, is pretty widespread on. it's not really? just you that's why i'm i'm harping on it not because you're doing it but because the whole culture is doing it you're kind of following the crowd on this issue the only thing for which i have praised single mothers is the difficulty of raising children as a single mother which is unquestionably a difficult thing to do and, and that's not, not only praiseworthy you, though you can, you can acknowledge that it's hard praiseworthy. which i acknowledge that it's hard they're miserable because they don't have the, the man to help. But that's not praiseworthy to do something that you're not even meant to do. They're doing the only the thing they can do. Maybe, maybe. You may, you may be right about that because people are helpless in their uh, degeneracy. But How do you um, know they've been degenerate? Single motherhood is a sign of degeneracy, man. What Literally. if the father divorced them? When you guys, say, I'm sorry. When you guys say degenerate, you mean without morals? Can we agree that that's the definition that we're talking about? Sure. Okay. Right. Of Go course, ahead. this isn't yeah, just, a, this isn't a term it, it, the validity of which I subscribe to. Um, it's, but, a, oh, it's a sign. No, of no. I, I I do understand that. You don't have to agree with it. I'm just asking for the definition we're working within. But this that's is it. this is what I mean, Hake. Like again, you make Go every ahead. presumption to the woman's detriment. You say they've been degenerate, but they could have been abused by a man and then divorced by oh, him. Lord. She could have caught him cheating. You say, oh lord, because to you it's insane. You think, how could it not have been the woman's fault? But that right there, what you're doing, is incredibly unchristlike. Yes, it was it Christ's, so. because it was his prerogative to turn towards the needy and the desperate, those who had sinned, <laughs> look at them and feel sympathy, to preach to them, no. to reach out to their humanity, to love them and to recognize their love in him. But it's your prerogative to sit from a high horse and judge everyone you don't like, accusing them of sin and degeneracy, even for the things they're doing to make up for their possible character True, flaws. Though. You're just making up stuff. You're I'm judging me. The, wor the word of Christ? I just, you didn't m mention one word from so-called Christ that you don't even believe in. I know that uh, I believe single, Christ existed. I'm pointing, I'm pointing out that by and large, Single mothers, it's it's their fault they're in that situation, and they need to take responsibility for it. Women don't tend to admit their their role in the uh, in what goes wrong in a relationship. How, and many, you how much experience up to this have notion, you had with women? Out of curiosity, I've heard a, a ton of women call into the Jess, Jesse show. I've talked oh, to them myself. Oh, come on, man! Have Have you ever seen a woman acknowledge that she was wrong? All what? Yeah, and it was meaningful, and she actually, and she wasn't. It wasn't just lip service. Literally, yeah, yes, like norm, like a normal thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you interact with women honest. outside of the Colin yes. show for your far right? Like, yeah, please. Oh, really? Yes. And it's difficult for them to admit they're wrong. Interesting. Do you think it might be possible that you have a biased perspective on the issue that is causing you to act in ways that are contradictory not only to reality mm. itself but to God's love? You think that this? You think it's reality that women admit they're wrong and are so responsible? The fact that you 
can even say that in a chiding tone is so self-parodying that I don't even feel I need to answer. <laughs> you really feel so you that think... women can poop? Well, I don't know, Hank. Talk to a woman. I have. I've talked to can... plenty. Do you think and they can poop? it's difficult. Occasionally, they can admit that they're wrong. Quite rare, though. All right. It's difficult. How many times, out of curiosity, this, have this you pretense... admitted you're wrong in this conversation? <laughs> um, you know, I don't believe either of us have, us men. Um... Maybe you are acting more female-minded than either of us is even willing to acknowledge. I know, but this is the pretense that, th that these women are innocent victims, and they're, by and large, they're not. No, you chide. I think that women are people, and people are flawed. I think that most people, by and large, don't meet my standard of good human behavior. But that doesn't change the fact that the decision to take care of children is a noble one. It's very difficult no. to take care of children, you know. I, it's very, very difficult. Okay, I have eaten my sandwich, so we are going back to the gameplay. Vosh is back on audio only, and order has been restored so that we can continue playing the video game. Let us continue. I don't think that I'm cut out for it, which is why I'm not a father. It would be very easy for me to be a father if I wanted to be, and I chose not to, because it's just a responsibility that I felt that I wasn't cut out for in my current state. Whether or not that reflects on me is immaterial. I think it's important to be good to the children. Based, but I know how hard it is. These women are sacrificing. Responsible I didn't say that it's not based. hard. I'm saying that it's that it's laughable, that it's noble, that they're doing it out of nobility. It is a noble thing to do no matter their intentions. Yo, but celery, why, I'm glad you've liked out of curiosity, it. I, have I don't know if it's a noble it? thing to do at, regardless of their intentions, to take the children away from the father. Why? How are they taking Aphrodite, the children? So Aphrodite. again, you've made another assumption. I just said you're the one making the assumption that they that they desert the children, that they abandon the children. That's an assumption. I only said that's the reason for a large portion of the disproportionate results in family courts. I'm that's only not a reason. speaking of a situation. Abandonment is not a reason. That's a Ash that's an accusation. Heart I'm dash. only Heart speaking dash. of the um, of the. Um, of the, the, the situation of a woman raising children as a single right. mother. So, get, so ignore, you like, accuse you, you the man assuming. of abandoning. No, I you said that many- You accuse the man of abandoning and praise the woman as noble for Dude, taking the children. what are you talking about? Let's say in this particular- That's ridiculous. Let's say, Let's say I, I don't think you're understanding what I'm saying here. These are He's not, he literally doesn't understand. I'll try understand. again. Let's like, say this is- He's a, not even following the basic direction of the conversation. He's not able to. Oh my god. Sometimes you meet somebody out there who you know just simply is incapable of being a grifter, and I think Hake has got to be one of them. I don't think, like, from what I hear in Hake, I think he's actually just very stupid and struggles to keep ideas straight in his head. He's He doesn't seem to me like the griftery type. Like, the guy can barely keep what Vosh is saying to him straight situation where the partners split mutually. The man did not take the children because he felt that the mother would do a better job. They split because of irreconcilable differences. So both of them are equally contributing to the divorce. The woman chooses to take the children when the man would have been willing to, but the woman thinks she can do a better job. Do you feel that's noble? I've never heard of such a case. Really? This is like an imaginary case where the man thinks that the woman would do a better job. This is... I believe the most common type of resolution. It may be the most common type of resolution, but the woman puts the man through sorry, hell. Sorry, gotta go Aphrodite first. Sorry, sorry, See, bro. You no so wonder you don't believe sexism exists, Tate, because that, you know, allows you to defy um, any possible attempt at himself. introspection you might otherwise engage in. Well, look at you. Look at you. Why are you following the crowd, worshipping the woman? I don't believe I worship any woman. Oh, you do. Can you define worship for me? Oh. Uh, calling them noble oh, man, when there's nothing noble about them. You don't even know the situation. You're just calling I only it a noble said, act because they're that. taking oh, care of the kids and it's so hard. I said an That's act one is noble. So that being a act liberal, is also right noble dynasis. when a man does it. I've never said it's only he noble when a woman rough. does it. I know men who are single fathers who chose to take the children. And I believe they're noble for doing so, immensely so. So this is not a female exclusive thing. Gentlemen, I know that <laughs> this has been a spirited and fun debate. We're going to have to start.
to uh, wrapping it down. We've got oh, a ton goodness. of super chats. Yeah, Another a ton of flies. super chats to get to. And uh, also, Dead. you know, here at the Crucible, we do things difficult. a little bit differently. I take timestamps and I take down moderator questions. We've always done this. When your closing statements are done, Ooh, we'll chaos. ask some moderator really questions fact. and then we'll move on to the super chats. Um, hey, okay, you went ahead and right. opened. It's Bosch, I'm going to let you close you first. Go ahead. And I am good as great. Sure. Um, yeah, so at the end of the day, I, like, there are two Thanks, things that buddy. I want to drive home here. If we're looking at the world from a purely utilitarian lens, if we're interested in what makes the world a better place by analyzing existing data, taking a look at, you know, um, statistical information and anecdotal yeah, like, reports that you, like, work out into case studies, however you want to look at things, I if we're to look at it in a scientific way, I'm uh, freedom of choice, generally goes. speaking, is better for society. Sometimes, freedom of choice leads to bad outcomes. Karen. That is, of course, the nature of freedom. You can't disregard the validity of freedom because sometimes people make the choice to have, you know, to do bad things. He That's the point it. of freedom. You do your best to mitigate Wait, the negative outcomes and, return. you know, benefit the positive gift. ones. The main issue that I have is the religious text that goes into this. I think, at least for those of you who have a mind towards the religious, it's fairly evident that hate is... Yeah. Well, non-denominational is not a tremendous surprise to me. I don't think that his understanding of Christianity is very well developed at all. I think that's largely because Just he likes having a religious pretext for his pre-existing biases, but I genuinely believe that his worldview is closer to that of the Antichrist oh, than that of Christ. His disregard of virtue, something. his hatred of nobility, um, and his uh, automatic, like, uh, like derision towards chaos. the concept of God's love being so present in all things. These aren't just my opinions. I admit that I'm an atheist. These are unacceptable pretextual positions to hold for a Christian. The, like, these are not, the, like, just you would, if, if, to express the these would get you, you, like, shunned you from religious communities. Um, I think that Hake holds a lot of hate in his heart, and a lot of the time. religious bullshit is yeah. just a way we'll of him having a non-empirical yeah. justification for those positions, one that he does not have to defend. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just, like, it's, it's, it's empirically incorrect, and frankly, it's heretical, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> oh, you're silent, buddy. I, I actually muted myself by accident, but anyway, hey, go ahead with your closing statement, and then we're going to move into the Q&A. We don't expect that the debate necessarily is going to stop just because the Q&A is there. We just consider the debate closed. Go ahead. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, Vosh. Uh, it's been nice talking with you again. And thanks to uh, Andrew. Um, this sexual morality thing, again, it's a, it's a fake idea. It's, there's morality. And the sex thing is um, a reality of life. And it has to be done under the umbrella of God's order, which is in a marriage with some self-control and with some acknowledgement of the danger that comes with it and the, uh, and the selfishness that comes with it. You, people tend to worship uh, one another or their, each other's bodies or themselves. Good. And it's a, it's a bad idea. Um, worship something real than something fucking made up by some having, crazy guy on a podcast. I think that we should be we should be coming together and having right. families and children and becoming responsible at uh, younger ages again. And we should bring back some shame to society and not be so shame. concerned with being ah yes having this this. That's what society needs more of: shame. American society doesn't have enough shame. Holy shit, bro! Freedom to be immoral and evil and throw our lives away um having this just degenerate sex with each other so freely i don't think that uh no fault divorce has no, been good no. for society i don't know the stats on it but um divorce and remarriage has become accepted by the christians and i think that's what has opened the door to uh homosexuality and all of that degeneracy which has only spread misery, but people don't realize they're miserable when they're young because they can get away with it until they're old. And even if even some old people are pretty uh, blind and brainwashed and side. disgusting, just look at a lot of the liberals today uh, running the running gotcha. the country into the ground. Got uh, her. Pornography is a, a bad a idea. This is a people should be this avoiding is a it. Fucking, people should be. He's on an Abe Simpson esque rant right now. Uh, we sh uh, people should get married more because degeneracy is is flowing, and because people have a, a laissez faire relationship with having sex with women, that's what makes the gay people happen. 
and well, you know, of course I had an onion tied on my belt because that was the custom of the time. The fleeing from temptation, not just toying with temptation. Same thing with food. Vosh brought up a very good point about food um, being a uh, a problem that's unacknowledged and has become kind of accepted in the so-called Christian culture because it's it's not as obvious the uh, the problems and it's kind of self-inflicted. The path from um, Tartarus is I don't think that the, that this sex thing has been good. It's put it's put the, the woman as God, the river and she gets so full of ready. herself. And men um, and women do. I don't care what Vosh says. Lovely. They do hate each other. That's you just tartarus. look at look around. Five, be, give me five they do hate for each other. Quarter, they they sometimes feel like they love each other, but then how does it turn into hate? Um, I think everybody can relate to that. Yeah. yeah and I yes, I do understand that people can't control our, themselves, and we have mercy for them. But this subsidizing and um, and this giving to people and co just subsidizing no, contraception and no condoms guess. and um condoms? and single motherhood and all of that stuff it has not been a good thing we have cares. a whole lot of corruption all up and down the courts and and I'm everywhere out. we should be fleeing from temptation we should stop the uh shun gossip just and backbiting um Why don't can't? seek revenge avoid even the appearance of evil He's literally um, just rambling. Don't listen to women and don't listen to snakes. And not even those in your head. Don't listen the to women! <laughs> is evil and, and God, thoughts this is literally and emotions, just a boomer rant. Uh, can really mislead you, especially in the context of sex. No snakes, no women. Thank this is so the no wombs and no snakes hate. department. Of course, you and I both know we have a little bit of disagreement, me looking through the orthodox prism. But um, I, I do want to get into these questions because I think that they're necessary. I think both of you, um, it was a very spirited debate and I enjoyed it. But there was a little bit on both sides where I think you didn't address each other's points. And I want to get to both of them. So, um, man, this is for you, Hake. Man thinks woman would be re better at rearing kids. Uh, you seem to have some contention with that. But mm -hmm. it is something that happens often uh, Vosh is right. I'll I did go ahead and look it up. There is a huge precedent for the amount of uh -oh. men when they're polled, when they're, when they're asked their reason for why they didn't show up to court or this or that for a custody battle, that they thought that the mother would be better at rearing the children. Than them. Rakes. How do you Very respond to that? I, I, I accept it. I don't think I kind of have questions about it, but very frequently a man will be more magnanimous and we'll just say that. And honestly, um, oh, it's dudes, education yeah, today it's has favored it, girls and women. Now what? women are kind of more successful. And Vosh did make a point that I I perhaps scoffed at, but it is true. Like men kind of want to just live that bachelor life. They're sh shallow and empty and selfish. So it, it does for sure take two to tango. But there are, but my main point was and I, I've, I think I've made it, was that there are no, a lot of men I... who want their children. <laughs> Hake needs more than a therapist. Hake needs, like, Hake needs a long time of, like, therapy, uh, like a loving community. He needs some time away from the Jesse Lee Peterson show. Oh, my God, yeah. He needs a lot more. Poor therapist. You can't put all that on a therapist. He needs a lot more. But they just don't, Jesus. they're tired of fighting or they can't afford or whatever. There's a lot of, there's a lot of miserable men in that, in that world. Okay. Uh, Hake, so, but by the way, I'm going to be picking on both of you, but this is just me picking on Hake for a minute. I'm fine. Uh, you, you said, have you ever heard a woman admit that they were wrong at the one hour, 25 minute mark? Uh, Hake, yes. My wife has humbly admitted when she was wrong multiple times oh, but it does always no! cost me cookies okay no matter what okay <laughs> it still costs me the baking um either which way and maybe i just wonder if what you're trying to get across there is that you know My both men and strong. women we have trouble being humble um that's just a, a, a true statement and sometimes humbleness comes with bitterness wouldn't you say that that's true let's get out of here um, yes, but it's, it's more, I think that it is a lot more difficult for women. Your wife 
if you don't mind my outing her Twitter handle, it's is it not rate for patriarchy? Yeah, but so she's I think, already a she's I think, already halfway yeah, but, there. But I need you to understand that her primary argument often is that we need patriarch and that most men are not worthy of being patriarchs in the modern era. Uh, so this is, you know, you but can But she already knows take, the order is my point. Yeah. And so but, a woman like while, that is more likely to admit yeah, she's but, wrong. Hey, but while she understands the order, right, she's saying that most men don't belong in the front of it. Okay. Uh, guys, I, just listen to how fucking creepy these two dudes talking about their wives are. Just holy shit, the creepiest way of talking about another human being you could possibly imagine. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, no, I, I acknowledge, I acknowledge yeah. that, that she thinks that men are weak and she's probably right about, about most of those cases. Mm. But I'm just pointing out that uh, it is diff that doesn't make that doesn't mean that it's not hard for women to admit they're wrong and it doesn't mean that it's uh, rare. I think it's more frequent that men will admit, even with the case oh, of them the letting the women take the kids. If it, they'll be like, "Oh, she she'd be better at it than me anyway." Sissy. They have this. They're a little bit this more is humble. So uncomfortable. Okay, women, men are. Uh, Hake, uh, since we've established degenerate is without morals, I have heard multiple times that my School smoking crushes. is degenerate. Does me smoking <laughs> cigarettes make me immoral? I don't know. I think, I think. Yeah, wait, no, no. You okay, can't. let me. No, no. I don't. I don't know. Is not good enough. All Does right. me smoking cigarettes make me immoral? No, you you being immoral makes you smoke cigarettes because <laughs> you can't put up with the stress of all these, uh, all these people that you got to judge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Vosh, sure. you you brought up John four eight. Uh, but I, I did want to just kind of clarify, you know, that is a reference to Christ's love. And what, what he was trying to get across there was that, you know, this is the interpretation of Christ's love. If you haven't experienced love, you don't really understand Christ's love. Well, I think that would be applicable in this case, no. I, I certainly feel as though I've experienced love. Now, of course, as a secular person, when I talk about love, my definition my isn't going to be um, religious. But as religious people, my experience father. of love now, must necessarily be framed through your understanding of God's love, because you would believe what I experience if it truly is love. And I'd like to think that I, you know, love my mom and dad and stuff, um, that that is indeed a reflection of that love, you know. I, the definition of love, it's not something that we're going to be able to easily pin down. Way. None of us can, I don't think, but I but do it think it's something we know it when we feel it, right? It, it's it's certainly it's certainly a, a pretty core part of our experience. That's a great, I'd say. great artist, yeah. Yeah. great yeah, artist. Yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. Classic, Go ahead, absolute I'm not sure classic. if I have much to add, but I think that um, yeah, you may have this imperfect feeling of love for your for your parents, just like most people have. But this is this is. Uh, it's an imperfect false imitation, and the world has a false oh, of imitation of you, what it uh, wants, me? which is God's love. But that's not the real. I I really don't think that that's the real thing, Bosch. Well, as I understand it, the love that we feel for our partners or our family or our children is a reflection of the divine love that created everything, including ourselves that we're experiencing a fraction of the glory and wonder that God imbued in the world when he created it as our playground. Okay, but but it, if if that if this false imitation of, of love, what Shot I call a senses. false imitation of love, that you call love, is a reflection of it, it's a pretty bad reflection because the world is pretty messed up. And so it's not, I don't think that that's the real thing. Well, in a doctrinal sense, I don't know how they would feel about saying that it's false love when it's what God gifted you in order to experience the world. The, the world is messed up, but that's our free game. will, is it not? We have the ability to make mistakes because only through our aversion to those mistakes and our Christly behavior can we enter the kingdom of heaven. Should come in useful. Well, um, if since we're arguing uh, the biblical that's stuff. Relief. There's a whole lot of ways that you diamond can like time. give your money well, away. It's even in the Bible. You can give your money away and have all this knowledge 
and speak beautiful words and all that stuff um, but you, it's possible to do that and have no love so the bible warns about have a lack of love in the world yeah, yeah but hey hey within the parables often mm -hmm. what's being talked about is for for instance uh, you know in, in the parable of the pearl right is giving everything up of equal value that you could ever dream of for this thing that you want should be likened unto the kingdom of heaven. You should be wanting to get Son. into the kingdom of heaven by giving up everything that needs to be given up to get there. Yes, but yeah, yes, that's, I Ultimately think that's true. Are. But um, Jesus himself said, who of you, who, who if your son asked for a fish, you would give him a stone or something like that. And he <laughs> said, you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children. Uh, how much more will your father give good gifts? So it's kind of to Bosch's point that it is kind of a reflection, even though we are evil. But his, but my point is we are still. I love that Hake has eaten shit on both of these questions. That Vosh is right, and also the host, whose name, by the way, is Big Papa Fascist. That that. Big Papa Fascist and Vosh have both just been like, dude, I don't think you know what you're talking about. And Hake is just like, well, yeah, I guess you're right. I don't. Evil. Okay. But let me uh, let me try to move on to some of these other questions because we we have tons, guys. Okay. okay. So Hake, at the one hour eight mark, Vosh says, um, oh, I'm sorry, uh, one hour five mark. Hake, the last sexual encounter I had was sucking a cock. Now this. <laughs> this reminds me of a joke about a bridge builder, right? He was an excellent bridge builder, the best bridge builder that there ever was. But if you suck one cock, you're not known as the bridge builder anymore. You're known as the cock sucker, <laughs> right? So, so the thing is, it's like what I guess what I'm getting at. Is the reason he said that is because you were questioning whether or not he was a homosexual. Sucking a dick's pretty gay, hey, right? <laughs> Right, but I, I'm against these identities. I think that somebody made a good point. I forget who it was. Maybe it might have been one of my fellow no. experts on the Jason Fuck. Peterson show, Chris. God that, damn it. And it might not have been him. But people have gotten into identifying as this or that. Oh. And when you identify as some into oh, some behavior that, that you that you've gotten into, that's a setup and that's a false identity. That was part no, no, of my point. No, I mean, point. I, I get that, and I and I can even relate it is to that. pretty, it is right? pretty quote unquote gay. gay Hank. I'm sorry, bro. Like, right? You are right. I want to say I actually agree with Hank on this one. I'm um, no? I'm a, a definitional abolitionist. Gotta pause for a second here. Let's find out. I think that we all exist on that spectrum, and that what we identify gay, straight, or in my I, case, I pansexual is really just kind of like an arbitrary social division that we've created. When, like, um, in a society where you two receive different education, I'm pretty sure you'd be lucky to talk to, at least a little bit. I think that no, pretty no. much everyone would, depending on no, what experiences no, they had growing no. up. I disagree, but I'll move on from this. You never I, know! I, but yeah, you know, don't I worry. Thought, I think I, Destiny has made that point, too, that people get into I, uh, naming, naming oops, things and calling things, and wondering what they are and getting into confusion it, it does breed Ooh, uh, uh, i think some okay. unnecessary misery by identifying yeah, ourselves as a wreck of fucking and we have great this joke. one it's a <laughs> no i like it. Wreck it. I no like reason this. to wreck <laughs> it <laughs> fucking dicks. All right. okay so at the hour four mark long way to go <laughs> Bosch, right. this is for you I think i'm ready you said sex isn't a serious hook for marriage and ready. i i couldn't help but type this as quick as i could are you Probably. fucking serious like, Death of course, sex family. is a serious hook for Death marriage. There's I, like a zillion simps out there the who, who hit way above their league, hmm. who literally marry women just because no, they'll fuck them. Like, we life. know that this is true. Um, yeah, I actually think I, um, I, I misspoke there. I, I think that's not an inherent issue, and the only reason that is an issue Start is because of a, well, uh, people like Hake. Well, um, the main Hades reason why people like rush into marriage time. because of sex is because they can't have sex before marriage. I would never do that because I can fuck who I want, but the, the story of like two kids right out of high school 
who, like, are super into each other and get married, like, after dating for three months because they're just so fucking excited for... And they fucking, like, sure, maybe sex is great, but, like, they're 18 and, like, they're going off to college soon and then things fall apart, you know? Like, mm -hmm. that's a pretty big issue. And I actually think a lot of it would be fixed if people had a more laissez-faire attitude towards sex. But you're right. Strictly speaking, what I said there was wrong. What I meant to say was that problem is caused by these behaviors. Gotcha. Maybe okay, they shouldn't so have kissed before... <laughs> Maybe? They, should, they shouldn't have made out, right? <laughs> or else they wouldn't have these problems. Okay. I think in oh, all gosh. society should be okay. sex divided, like everything. The schools, the McDonald's, yeah. the churches. And like in one room <laughs> in every city, there's like a big hallway with a board between them and holes in the wall. And people fuck through them and that's how babies are made. And Gross. apart from that, you never... You never interact with the other sex. That's the I only way. Oh my God! I don't. I don't want to oh, go to this oh, college. Okay. Yeah. Wait. 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 Vosh is joking about this, but the high school that I went to, um, uh, you, the high school that I went to many years ago was a former Catholic high school, and they had gender segregated, um, uh, they had gender segregated uh water fountains. Believe it or not. Um, so I know that everybody kind of thinks that's a funny joke on Vosh's part, but that's a real thing. Um, in, in many Catholic schools, there would be gender segregated water fountains. In fact, it was so ridiculous. It was such a huge portion of the school's history that, um, a, a piece of the culture continued from that time. Um, previously the school had been split up into the women's side of the school and the men's side of the school. And there was one water fountain that was, that was installed uh, in a hallway that bridged the two halves of the schools. And so when it was a Catholic school, kids would hide notes for the opposite, for for their crushes over in the other school at the neutral fountain. The neutral fountain, which was supposed to be for teachers only because the rest of the fountains in the school were either men's fountains or women's fountains. Unironically, real thing. Uh, Vosh, at the 59 minute mark, you said something I hear often, which is, hey, you know, people change a ton over 30 years. I agree with you, by the way. I think Hake did too. Um, and, but you qualified this by saying, you know, this is a common case for divorce. Chaos. You know, but I think people with children often understand, and I think that both of you and can intuitively here. understand, the core of a person doesn't the change that much. The like, the core of the who you are tends to stay pretty much the same. Forth the having raised children from literally, you know, inception to adulthood, even to many of, of those personality them, quirks and the way that they were, they didn't really change that much. And isn't it true that people often represent themselves for incorrectly you, going into a marriage, and that's what often... Company. Did I tell you there's a fishing mini game in this game? Such an offering. Please, it is not necessary to endear yourself using material means, for it is the thought alone which counts. Thank you, Master Chaos. We have two hearts on Master Chaos. Yay! makes them fall apart uh to an extent there are a couple of things that i want to say there sometimes maybe even often people's core identity stays the same but i think that it really depends person to person and listen to that whoa we got to heart level two i trust the small round catalyst which i provided to you has been of value son of hades it is my hope it makes your journey to the space less difficult perhaps inducing them on a more frequent interval yeah chaos wants to see us more fuck yeah love it love that shit. and even superficial changes in a person's identity can be sufficient for them to fall out of love with people um I love you know this one. love however if you may think it a religious or you know a secular thing however you care for the term um, it's definitely something that it's it's not always easy to hold on to, you know? Like feelings of fear or excitement. An emotional experience is something that can flit in and out of existence. It can change with time, even sometimes for reasons you don't understand. If you just fall out of love with someone, that would be, that is at the same time, a very important and very unexceptional thing. It's not dramatic or exciting, but it can have serious consequences on your life and on your happiness, you know? Um, in terms of like how it happens or how this leads to people falling out, it really, really varies from, from marriage to marriage, you know? Um, 
Oftentimes, it's not just a falling out of love. It's like this fundamental like difference where somebody wrongs another person in a way they can't accept. And abuse does happen pretty often in relationships. Sometimes people fall out of love for reasons they don't even want to. Like they want to continue remaining in love, but they've just changed enough that it's no longer an issue. I can't pretend to speak for all the people out there who have had failed marriages. I just know they happen a lot and that it's complicated. We've seen an in upcrease, or like an in increase in how much it's happened, but we don't have any comparable data from the past because from the past, people legally couldn't divorce for a lot of reasons. So we're, we're seeing an uptick in divorces, but not necessarily Ooh, an I uptick in marital unhappiness. An in fact, you can make an argument that if people are more free to divorce, the marriages that, that remain are going to be more happy on average. And that's nice. Maybe if divorce becomes a more frequent thing, but marriages do as well, you're going to see more instances of like, um, you know, people flitting about a bit, but eventually setting on, on a relationship that is really good for them. And that would be like a really solid thing they can live with. I don't know. It, it, it varies. Well, what do you say to the fact that almost all divorces are initiated by women? Um, I would say that, generally speaking, women are the ones who are going to get out of there more often. From what I've seen, and I know I can only talk about this with Hake to some extent, because this is a, a challenging topic, this game is to a say the least. Yeah, it is. Um, it is. Divorce is often initiated because of allegations of abuse. Domestic abuse happens pretty much equally between men and women against men and women. However, abuse that happens against women tends to be a lot more violent and severe in nature. Um, I feel like often women tend to be like feel more threatened for their safety. Um, than otherwise. I think cheating happens equally, both with men and women, so I don't think that necessarily, like, differs. Um, it could also be a cultural whiplash effect, where because before, um, the That's main, like, preventative factor in keeping people together, mm. keeping them from divorcing, was, like, the fact that women couldn't legally establish their own, like, financial base. Now Grab that they can, one. we're seeing kind of, like, this cultural turn to accommodate that. It's really complicated stuff, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm in support of whatever civic policies allow people to maximize their freedom and live with and in situations that make them happy. Sorry, super rambly. It's just, it's so complicated and there's so much data out there, you know? One thing JLP recommends is that people May date seven you? years with no sex uh, before they marry, so that they actually get to know each oh, other and come not get on. hooked on uh, the sex thing. And seven years with no Please sex. Please tell me you can masturbate. That's cr that's extreme. Even that's more extreme than than any Christian I've ever met. That is the most unbelievably extreme thing that is just made up and co total ass pull no one has ever done that it is not it is not healthy or possible gross no i, I mean hey I you. <laughs> you're so, if you're so worried so about sexual more. degeneracy causing cancer not nothing for seven years a pretty good way of doing that no oh, yeah, uh, okay dr singh dr singh who has been on the jason lee peterson show says that that stuff comes out naturally in your urine without doing that <laughs> no! <laughs> that stuff comes out natch. Oh no! You just come while you pee. I mean, he can't say the word "come." He just says that stuff. Oh god! Amazing, the stuff. All right, and then also like Fuck. dreams and stuff. Oh, I no. guess you take your methods, and I'll take mine. I guess. <laughs> So, All right, the, the wet dream's okay. Um, so, at the 52 minute mark, this is my last pick on Bosch question before I pick on Hake a little bit. Bosch, you kind of got caught on the slippery slope here, right? The 52 minute mark. You say that the main goal of the LGBTQ lobby was marriage, but then you went on to qualify the slippery slope by saying we have moved into all these other LGBTQ equality issues that have literally nothing to do with marriage. Isn't that kind of the slippery slope Hake was talking about? What? Oh, I only meant to say that oh, Hake was implying that at a point the LGBTQ lobby was arguing for something of, like less than gay God. marriage, I think. Like, even back when civil unions were introduced, that was mostly a compromise that was accepted more. by more mainstream, like, you know, sort of elements of civil society. But it wasn't explicitly the thing being fought for. Gay people have been fighting for the legality of gay marriage basically for as long as gay people have had any voice at all in society. But to the slippery slope point, like the idea of things like going further and further, yeah, I think that the slippery slope being mentioned here is one for consent, uh, which Haig doesn't care much for. But yeah, I think yep, that true, as long as doesn't. people are consenting to behavior and Almost. that um, 
you know, nobody is being harmed who hasn't consented to that behavior, I think that you're fine and dandy. I, I, and, and right now, everything the queer lobby is fighting for is in line with that. Decidedly I, below I wonder, because I don't know the history, if before they, uh, before they were for same-sex marriage, if they were for decriminalizing the, I don't yeah, know, sodomy laws or go. whatever, then pretended that they weren't for same-sex marriage, because I think that they were... I think you may be mistaken, Bosch. Um, I think that if you go b back that far, publicly protesting in favor of gay rights was less frequent because these people were getting, like, arrested and sterilized for it. Yes. If you go back to before, like, the modern gay rights movement, you might be able to find precursors. Though, I wouldn't necessarily disagree with what they're doing, right? There were abolitionists back in the um, 1860s who were like, okay, we can free the slaves. But, like, don't worry, they're still, like, black people. Like, they're not, like, white people, you know? Wink. Stuff. Right. And then, of course, later they would fight for racial equality. Which, as far as I'm concerned, is a good thing. The slippery slope argument is only valid when you're, the slope is leading towards something well, bad. But so far, it's, you hey, know, sir. It's, been, it's been pretty hey, okay. Hey, it's Sisyphus! I don't know, I think blacks... Pause for a second, listen to, li listen to Sisyphus. You know, Prince Ed, I'd not expected to run into you again. Not after all this time. Something I missed out in the house, or what? Not had much company of late, is all. Oh, poor Sisyphus. Well, something's just about always a mess back home, sir. Figured it couldn't hurt to check up on things in Tartarus a bit more frequently. Oh. Well, I am grateful for it. I and the old boulder there, in turn. I'm used to going lengthy stretches on my own, but having visitors from time to time would do me well. I agree, Sisyphus. Let's get... Let's get some darkness. That I can and... do. Nix's power. We, let's give him a let's give him a present. Hey, sir, thought this might ease your burden for a while. Now hold a moment, Highness. I cannot accept something like this, not without giving back a little something in return. That is. Thanks. For oh, that, the sir. shattered shackle. Ooh, thanks, buddy. Boldy. All right, let's continue. Agree because uh, Obama. Uh, oh, well, I'm so saying that's now. because a lot of them are Christ <laughs> a lot of them are Christians and not for this gay thing. So like Obama, they voted for Obama the first time because he pretended that he was not for same-sex marriage. But people who I mean, knew, I mean, knew. that is a valid point, Vosh. The the proposition in California for gay marriage was swung by the black vote. There's there's no right. doubt that that's true. Oh, there that's is fine. A, I just don't care about that. Conservative that's element that's there. Crazy. Oh, that's. I mean, I'm just saying. I think it's a valid criticism. Like black people are more socially conservative on average, I think, than white people, or at least more than a lot of um, white people. I agree that's probably true. Yeah, I, that's probably true. I, I just don't care about them. They can lose and burn for all I care. Um, well, it's, honest, well, fi honestly, well, well they, fighting fighting for civil rights here. isn't about like so you know being super nice, so taking your concessions, and, and then not pushing it past that point. Back when uh, like slavery was ended, the average person in the North still thought. Uh, that um, black people were subhuman. When we went off to fight Nazis in World War II, the average American was firmly against racial integration. Standards change. And in 50 years, like 85% of black people are probably going to be in favor of gay marriage. Probably even less than in... Um, I know, they go, they go right along with... with uh, they, they voted for Obama over 96% again, even after he uh, shocked them by saying he evolved towards same-sex marriage. So your point is is true that they'll, they'll fall for anything well I mean, everyone well, people the degeneracy get of the people shit, will just continue to slide down people get moved to more progressive positions over time progressively uh, support, evil support for trans people support for gay marriage Dude, support for so all of these pathetic. like signifiers has gone up with time you fight yeah. as a progressive to normalize these positions you know not because people want them today but because it's morally right to do so and by tomorrow they will want it because there was never any good reason to be against it to begin with well, oh, so uh, the, I'm going to pick on you one last time, so I guess I lied to you, Bosch. Mm -hmm. I had one more for you for me, uh, but maybe it's a funny one. Bosch, you said, uh -huh. wouldn't artificial insemination oh, bring down oh, temptation sweet. at the 34-minute mark to hey? Uh, but it. Bosch, where does sperm come from? <laughs> And how how would that not lead to temptation well, if a bunch of dudes okay, are jerking off me. to inseminate women? Because it'd be a way. Because <laughs> it could it be a way worse orgasm? Like okay, uh, you know, like it, the difference between nutting and a woman bear. 
and like jerking off into a cup. I don't know. Maybe they could just can they just yeah, like Yeah, but put I mean, a, what are you thinking about when you're jerking off as a, as a heterosexual man? Maybe they could just right? put a needle. Like how would it not lead to in your balls? You know, What's ahead? Could they just put a needle needle in your balls? Can they just like, I think take I think they out? can, but I don't oh, think shit. that that's the way the it's done. Casks of wine you know? Maybe that's how we should do it. Maybe that's the future <laughs> to avoid temptation. You have tasted the intoxicating Okay, uh, 31 minute mark. Hey, and fewer Bosh still, says under your moral values, it's almost monastic. I, I really still can't help but agree in an extent. Don't you think you're going a little overboard with, you know, you can't go on a date and kiss a girl? Like, aren't, aren't, why aren't we getting into the uh, the purity spiral to the point of absurdity <laughs> here? Um, no, I don't. Let's do the story aspects. Let's hear. Oh, um, hi, your highness. I just wanted you to know that if you do get out, I, we are going to miss you Aww. around here. Okay, so, bye. Um, I do thanks. so. Nix, do you know anything about a softly spoken gentle being under the guise of Gentle chaos? being! They approached me recently and offered me a boon of sorts. By the way, by, like I said, canonically non-binary, all the characters rep uh, respect their pronouns. Primordial chaos. Indeed, I know them well. Bing. They must have taken interest in your quest. I would advise that you beware their offerings, though know that chaos, whilst a trickster, is not a deceiver. True! I understand, I think. I see you've decided to come home. Changed your mind yet? Or looking for more pain and suffering? More pain and suffering. More pain and suffering for sure. After all, you taught me to appreciate the finer things. You keep telling yourself that, boy. But mark you my words. Sooner or later, this life that you have chosen for yourself shall teach you I was right. Don't think so, bro. Don't Good think talk. so, bro. Good talk. All right, I guess that's everybody for this one. All right, back to the debate we go think so because you can still you can still hang out with a girl without kissing her um and i'm just saying because a lot of people i think i think True, the, the kissing at, i think it's common kind of knowledge asshole, that it yeah. leads to other things i'm not saying you can't i'm just saying it's uh it may be unwise okay well Maybe let me follow up keys. with this at the 28 mark you said you know no making out with claws, women so fine right but I mean, if I want to make out with my time, wife and have a lot of sex, why, that that point, well, well, I want to know, why is that no, problematic specifically like from a biblical sense? Why is it problematic for me to want to, like, just make out with my wife and have sex with her all day? Why is that a problem? For a good time, beware well, to me, uh, on my quest. if you Check. were self-controlled, you no, would no, not... not to you. My question is specifically from a biblical sense. Why is this wrong? Well, the Bible talks about self-control and... The the man not being concerned about the things the of the world, you know how to please his wife, and the wife not being concerned about the things of the world. They should be they should both be committed that to is... God above that. So I didn't say that it was it was wrong to be Inherit. making out and and having sex under marriage, but it is all okay. there. Right there back. are ways to like get too into that stuff, Hi, everyone, and kind of end up worshiping the woman or worshiping yourself. You know, oh, I, I think forgot about the ways to marry me. Yeah, but I, I don't have any. I don't know, have any stuff I, yet. Though, that's the problem. Idolatry. Normally, I would, but I don't have any money. I've only that. done like three rounds. But I think that it's plenty healthy and biblically <laughs> sound to be a wife, man. I'm it, sorry. Like, what is that problem? Oh yes. Speaking, so, speaking of slippery slopes, there, Mister Eating Good Meals might be a you know a temptation to gluttony. You know, whew. Yeah, I don't know. If if the if the temptation of anal sex leads to more anal sex, I'll take that any day over my. Yeah, I was talking about okay. lobster dinners earlier. I actually hate seafood, so for me, I, I guess it'd be a good steak. But yeah, you know. Uh, so just to pick on you a little bit more, Hake, you said okay. I don't know what makes anal sex an evil, but Hake, sodomy's referenced in the Bible as being immoral. Right. So I don't know why you said right. that. At no, the six mark. I know, but I don't. I, I I do reference the Bible and say it's in the Bible. It's a fact. But um. I wasn't thinking about the Bible in that term because sometimes it's nice. It's written in this book. That means it's a fact. Why is this book correct? 
Well, because God says it's correct. Well, how do you know God says it's correct? Well, because the book says that God says that the book is correct. Well, how do you know that the book is correct in saying that God said that the book was correct? Well, that's because the book... I mean, because God said that the book said that God said that the book said that God was correct. To point out logically, I mean... Yeah, using I, a secular I'm, argument. Yeah, I'm him. saying it's disgusting. Hey, see you it's later, like, Lady King. Thanks for coming fit. by. I hope like, you have a great night. It could fit. I'm, I'm saying... Oh, no. I didn't mean it like that, man. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So the 23 minute uh, mark, Vosh, you said, when will I feel used? 10 years, Vosh. 10 years, you'll feel used. <laughs> Have you never felt used? Um, no, I'm, that's not I'm, what he was saying. To, I'm pretty. To preference it correctly, he was saying, I have plenty of promiscuous sex and I don't feel used as a counter to you saying that people feel used when they have promiscuous sex. But um, you have felt used before, right, Bosch? I'm pretty on or top of my game question. right now. Um, now. I don't feel very used right now. I mean, I don't know. About have you ever? Do we mean sexually, or do we mean like me being in middle school and my like classmates make me do the work for the group project? How? Well, what, I mean, in the context of a, of a so-called romantic type of a situation. Ah, yes. Not, not really. Strength. I've always the been sword. pretty um, direct and communicative with my emotional, romantic, and sexual partners. So usually if there's like an upcoming issue with a difference in preferences or like somebody wants to be more romantic than the other, I feel like if anything I'm usually on like the other side of that, where like maybe my directness is interpreted as coldness by the other person. Um, if, so if anything, they they may feel used by you, even though you don't even mean to do it like that. I always try to be communicative, communicative enough to avoid that. But obviously, in any kind of like social interaction, there's always a risk for people to find disagreement, no matter how hard everyone's trying. So That's yeah, it, it can happen. You know, might as so well. The, uh, last one for you, Hake. Last pick on you, and this one's um, a personal me picking on you, right? You <laughs> said at the 19 minute mark. People should be coming together in their prime. Uh, hey, are you aware of the massive age gap between the Theotokos, the Virgin Mary, and her husband? The mother of Jesus? And sure, there wasn't a sexual relationship there, but this was not an uncommon arrangement at the time. Uh, so I, I'm not really sure where you're going with that. I would say, yes, it's preferable for youthful people to get married because women can bear children for a lot longer. Right. And maybe there's more in common. However, if a 55 year old man marries a 20 year old woman, she's still going to be able to bear his children, right? Up until whenever. So I, I don't really understand this argument. Maybe I was, maybe by people I meant uh, women. Y young women. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Of course okay. you did. I women have to be controlled, but yeah, men but never that, do. Yeah, I'm not necessarily for that big of a. What if I'm what not is necessarily together with the argument, though. What I'm asking is, like, the age gap has yeah. been traditionally often ridiculous, and yet right. this has worked out fine because these men have a large amount of resources, okay, and it 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 tended to just kind of work out. So I'm just kind right. of curious as to how you make the justification. I, I'm not. I wasn't arguing against the man being older. Uh, Okay. I, I don't. I don't know if. I don't know how I feel about that much of an age gap. I don't really have an opinion formulated on that. But uh, <clears throat> what I mean is, right now we have women who are thinking that they want an education and then they want a career and then they want to get established in a house. And even married couples will be like, "Oh, we have to get, we have to get settled first, and then they're kind of older, you know." So have you considered making it easier for people to get settled instead of telling them instead of telling them they don't get to live a life? No, no, you just have to become a housewife at age 19 because oh well, you know, if you want to have a career and a house, you know, and live a normal life, well, that just takes too long. God, I hate these people. So I'm I'm my argument is more against this feminism education uh, everybody goes to college mess. That's what so, I was. So and, the, and the promiscuous sex stuff. Everybody not goes down. to college. Like, oh, these people just live in an alternate reality. Do you know how many people don't go to college? Do you know how what percentage of the American populace doesn't go to college? Actually, you know what? Let's find out. Uh, percentage of American 
of American with college degrees? Let's find out. Only 37.5% as of 2022 of Americans have college degrees. Do you know how many people don't go to college and more so how many people who do get to go to college can't afford to finish college? This guy lives in a fantasy realm. Literally, he may as well live in Lord of the Rings. He would be happier if he thought that we lived in Lord of the Rings. The lightning round going into the super chats. I don't want to take up um, oh, yeah, for too much of your guys' time, but I do want to try to field as you many of these as we can. Fury, uh, this is from Willie uh, Powell. Bosch, why do you one. confuse the reproductive lately, system with the digestive with system? You sound very love. confused. The they um, fucked. Exception. Aphrodite oh, fucked Megara. That's what we just saw. This is the super chat. Go ahead. Willie Powell. Yeah, um, so I guess, like, that person's kind of retarded, and I'm just happy to let them know, so they don't need shit with the diagnosis. Uh, this isn't about confusion, and you know it's not. Like, don't pretend. It, it's about what makes my dick feel good. That's all I care about. If it makes my dick feel good and their asshole feel good, that's it. That's the end. Like, no, there's no confusion here. Like, uh, are you aware that when she sucked your dick, that was actually the oral orifice and not indeed the vet? Well, thank you. Phenomenal. You're truly, you know, shining a light of introspection upon this event. Go get laid. And it's just from, so weird. Like, who, who do you think you're owning? Christ. This from so well, you're the weird one. I understand. For you getting head? All right. Well, you know, if that's yeah, I'm, I'm, that's the I'm line. Sorry. I'm sorry. We can't. We can't have too much debate back and forth. We'll never get through. Okay. These. Right, so from Scion so for for ten dollars, he says, "What's wrong with the society that you can't be an individual and think for yourself? We've been taught that it is somehow cool to be so much uh, of a beta male." Okay. Repeat it. What? I assume that's for I, me, because... Yeah, yeah, he says, what's wrong with society that you can't be an individual and think for yourself? The weird We've thing... been taught that it is somehow cool to have so much... And then he blots out the word after a... And he blots out the word, I don't know what it means, and still be a beta male. So I think he's saying, you know, what's wrong with thinking for yourself? Why are we all betas and playing follow the leader? Well, the funny thing what? is, is that I'm the one arguing for individual expression. Hake's the one arguing for conformism. Hake is arguing to listen to Sky Daddy's magic book. Literally. And I'm not just saying that because he's a Christian. I'm saying it because he's a Christian whose only understanding of Christianity is that D Sky Daddy told me to do so in, in the magic book. Or at least my interpretation of the magic book. That's the least individualist perspective. That's like the least independent individualist perspective you can possibly have. It's literally, I don't know how to think, so I just picked up a random book that has gold leaf lettering or, or gold leaf edges and called it good. I'm in religious doctrine, but I guess accepting that weird set of premises? Um, I don't. I think you should be able to do what you want to do. And most of my arguments are not only in favor of legal freedom, but also in favor of ideological freedom. Because I think that there's a kind of ideological chilling effect that takes place when you discourage people from making certain life decisions because it doesn't conform to your own values. I think that if you want to discourage people from doing something, it should be because it's it can be indicated to be like harmful to towards enough. others, like morally wrong in a you know, um, know a secularly provable way. Because if you want to get into religious exactly stuff, why would I take do. religious arguments any more seriously from a Christian than a Muslim, or a Hindu, or a Mormon? And God That's forbid, a it's a Mormon. All right, um, we're we're all fucked. You know, me. Uh, yeah. No. In reality, you're going along with the crowd, and. Uh, the crowd. Rationalizing degeneracy. Um, there are things that I believe that are in line with public opinion, and a great many things I believe that are not. I think that I'm sure most of the people watching here are fully familiar with the fact that I argue with a lot of people. <laughs> clearly, yeah. clearly, if I'm all about crowd, you know, group think, I would, you know, no, I, know. I would have more I'm, friends. I'm just talking about the sex stuff. But well, anyway. well, you know, if something is popularly accepted, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong, right? Like. You know, no. this is one of those, like, I can't believe you sheep will believe the sky is blue type thing. It's like, well, okay, you know, it's popular, sure, but if it's right, it's right. Uh, this from just just Horror for five pounds. He Got says, em. question for Hey, Were you ever a sinner, bits. or have you always walked the righteous path? <laughs> mm. uh, I am a sinner, I guess. Okay. Made by Jim Bob for five dollars. Nice. Bosch says... Same sex can't have sex. Do other things uh, they incorrectly call sex. They, I'm sorry, they do other things they incorrectly call sex. So um, 
he's saying, <laughs> Atheists! Checkmate, atheists! <laughs> I define anal sex as not sex. That means gay people can't have sex. <laughs> b -b -b Bazinga. I what a stoop what somebody paid money somebody fucking That's paid wife you're talking about oops I, I didn't even mean to press that one somebody fucking paid money to have that to 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 to, to have that read out holy shit that same sex activity is not actually sex it's just incorrectly called sex the thing that I think is really interesting from people who think this way is that their <laughs> contributions to discussion betray how little they think about this. They're not interested in actually fleshing out ideas or concepts or moral arguments. Instead, they're like interested in assigning ideas to block moral definitions they have preset. It's like the ethical equivalent of like square peg takes square toy and round peg takes round toy. Where like, ah, well, that thing I don't like, so it's not sex. Why would you think I care whether or not it's sex? Do you think I care? Like, do you, yeah, exactly. like, if, do you, like, if I'm, if I'm, like, you fucking a guy in the ass, in the uh, do you think, like, I'm thinking, like, yes, it is very morally meaningfully important to me that this be termed sex, but... <laughs> I, I don't. I, 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 I don't... So bold, your highness, I, I guess the thing that I'm offended by here is the idea that you think on that level. Are you suddenly okay with anal sex Look, if I, I just called it anal? Sisyphus. Like, would that then the insert it into a category that you would be acceptable with and sure. we could all live and let live? I'm Clearly not, Sisyphus. right? This is just some tangential thing. But, Ooh, yeah, I don't know. Quite an undertaking, no, I think Chris. made, made by you, you Jim Bob it, is like a pretty deep guy. Told. And no, I think you're being a little too dismissive. I think his point is that there's nothing good or productive about this fake sex. Whereas have, with normal sex, it's it produces life and and a family. Excellent. I have sex in, to in make my right dick context. feel good, Hake, and in that respect, anal sex does a perfectly satisfactory yeah, job, I have to say. Right, um, the sound that's, design but that's is amazing. Not, there's game. nothing good about that. That's what I'm going for. That's my good. It feels good. Didn't I just say right, that? It doesn't feel bad. Um, it feels good. Well, that's emptiness. I don't know for, what they... Uh, anyway, I leave them empty, for, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry to... Uh, to <laughs> guys. No, sorry. you're fine. I'm trying, trying to get through these. Um, We've made our point. For, for the $2, uh, Miss Mortician, 1986, says, You're the best, Bosh. Uh, <laughs> Nina N, for $5, says, Delicious. How would both debaters sorry, describe their attainable, perfect world? That's not a loaded fucking question. Jesus. Go ahead, Vosh. You're first. Tell me your perfect fucking oh, no. world. Um, I want a world where people are as free as possible to pursue things that interest them so Can't long as they don't hurt others. Now, keep in mind that people being free means that we have, like, the baseline access to resources and systems that allow us to express ourselves. So, a free world is still a world where people maintain the roads. Because otherwise, you couldn't oh, visit cool friends I'll in other cities, you know? Like, something like that, but I want that on the greatest possible level. A retraction of all social mistake. standards that restrict our freedom and an extension of all social systems that allow us to enact our freedom. Um, this is, of course, why I'm a communist, but I feel like you can extend this out ideologically in a bunch of directions. And by the way, I think that what I'm describing should be perfectly in line with Christian doctrine, Hello, because even if that means people would be making unchrist like well, decisions day to day, committing to sin, anal sex, home. whatever, you know, um, people would have Let's ultimate see, freedom to act on their will, and that would be the most effective determiner of whether or not a person like, deserves to exactly enter the kingdom of heaven ask, after their death. After all, is a man truly good if they never had been given a choice to do evil, if every second of their life they had been pushed and cajoled and coerced into doing good? Probably not. Oh, Maybe shit. they're good by circumstance, but well, it's possible. Uh, but gosh, there's a logical hole here, right? Like, where do babies go then? Do they go to hell? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not religious. Right? Like, I mean... Yeah, no, no, no. Don't you know give me... I mean? Well, don't... Look, don't, don't ask me to sort your systems out. Sure, they go to hell. I just think that as long as we have our time here on Earth, we should have the, the, the greatest possible, you know, uh, ability to express ourselves, you know, the, the, the self-actualization. That's what I care about. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, that was for you, too. I would say um, men should start worshipping God instead of women. And I think that things will turn around. Okay. Meaningless. Uh, Lin, Chen, Lin Yen Chen Meaning says... Meaningless. Uh, he says, what God has joined? Let no man sever, lest he play God like everyone who divorces their spouse. Why challenge God? Why challenge 
the Lord good hair with a question mark. Now, why would you put good hair with a question? Is he he's asking calling... if you guys have both have good hair? No, <laughs> he's... I need a haircut. My, he he calls Lin Yan Chin calls me Lord Good Hair. Oh, okay. Well, because he... it became a meme. Some black guy said he has the best hair on the internet, and then it became a meme. Gotcha. So, well, but he's well, saying, why challenge God? Meaning, yeah. Vosh is challenging God and separating what man, what God put together by allowing for divorce. And why challenge Lord Goodhair? Meaning, why challenge hate? Hey. Yeah, well, uh, he follows up for two toonies and a loony. False. It isn't forcing to let go and let God guide a marriage that he's allowed you to enter. Vanity, ah, so a.k.a. Close. insecurity, oh, guides this for the Lord good hair. Do that. I, uh, Bye, Meg! If, if this is in any way Bye, intended Meg. for me, I'm afraid I don't know how to parse it. No, I think that this I was, think he's uh, talking about how divorce yeah. comes about. It's, it's um, God will make a way if, if you want to do right in a marriage and stay in a marriage, even if you're miserable for a time. Um, oh, you can work I it out, but come. women are so vain, well, they want to initiate sure divorces because be they want to play God. I think True. it's interesting Something and like Hake that. takes every possible opportunity to ride <laughs> women as a group, even in situations where the yes, advice would be Isn't perfectly applicable to, like, all of humanity. Check. Like, that's- isn't Fe that odd? Female-minded males, too, yes. Right, of course. <laughs> Female-minded males. Uh, Secret Stars says, Hey, Ugh, this heat. if you married a God-fearing woman that had Vosh's personality, do you think you'd be able to force yourself to get along with her for the next 30 years for the sake of your beautiful children? <laughs> and she'd like anal, too. She'd pressure you for it. That's like, I mean, that's, a, that's actually a pretty good a pretty good philosophical question. I'm kind of curious about the she answer. She like anal, too. Well, uh... Oh, a, a gregarious person who's communicative and uh, intellectual. I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, God, God help me. <laughs> God help me. Uh, Lord or Lin Yen Chin for this time multiple mm. toonies and loonies says mm. Lord Good Hair is right. Happiness is hedonism of following Satan into a spiraling delusion which typifies his adversary. The haughty, broken, sexual men seek inner silliness to sharpen discernment Inner of God. silliness? Is Wait, is that like real? Is a bit death culty? Discernment, following Please? Satan into a spiraling delusion, which typifies his adversary. The haughty, broken, sexual men seek inner silliness to sharpen discernment <laughs> of God. These people are so like wild. This is a bit death culty. Do not so much Happiness is satanic. I feel... Is that... At a point when you're typing this out, do you ever think like, "Hmm, this is um, the, I, this is not, not good." <laughs> I don't know. Nah, no, it's a very, very, very silly way of looking at life. Um, yeah, it's it's, you know, uh, so often religious ideas are invoked as a way of using divine power to justify unjustifiable positions, and I, I see that a lot here, and it's really, really, really weird. Um, the idea of declaring war on happiness is a what are those wretches? Um. Yeah, oh, God. Just, but then, but comfort. then, but Vosh, happiness you, is fickle. Well, I gotta ask though. Vosh, life is fickle. Life why is you, fickle. How do you reconcile yeah. the fact that it's the religious people who are the most happy? They're not. <laughs> um, they're not. Based on even what study? Close. This would. This wasn't based on a study. Not this was this. based on polling data. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, polling data. Um, yeah. I um, I think I would be. Well, first of all, I should say that even if that was something that oh, I took by the for way, granted, one of the things. The reason why they go to polling data is because Christians have to tell you they're happy. If Christians don't, Christians have to tell you they're satisfied with their life. Because if not, they're insulting God. If you believe that God gives you everything and somebody asks you, are you happy with your life right now? And you say, nah, it sucks. You're saying, fuck you, God. You haven't given me anything good. No, Christians have to always be grace and be grateful even if they're miserable. I know this firsthand because I grew up in a Christian family. Everyone, if they're asked externally, they will say, no, we're very grateful for what God has given us. Thank you. We're very grateful for what God has given us. We're very grateful and thankful for what God has given us. Meanwhile, back at home, they're fucking chugging Xanax and crying into a fucking Kleenex box.
as a causative element. I don't think that, like, religion necessarily makes people unhappy. I think whatever the fuck that guy just typed into the dono box made him unhappy. <laughs> I'm, I'm being a bit selective here, I'll say. Um, no, I, look, my, my outer family, not my outer family, my um, extended family, you know, like my grandparents and stuff, like, they're all religious. Um, and, uh, and, and I... <laughs> But and they're pretty happy, if you don't right? Mind my asking. Huh? Like, are they pretty Excuse. happy? I'm sorry. Oh no, uh, they're they're Catholics and Christians both. Uh, a lot of them are Catholic. Um, my family goes back Irish and Polish, so you know, very, um, uh. yeah, very very Catholic denominations there. But no, they're they're happy people. Not all of them, of course, you know. But a lot of them are very happy people and fine people. I, I have my issues with religion. Don't get me wrong. I'm anti-theist for a reason, but it mostly has to do with reasoning and empiricism. In terms of what makes people happy, I'm not like against religion, you know, if it makes a person happy or benefits their life in some sense, I'm not gonna, like, be fucking weird about that to them. That seems like kind of a cringy thing to do. Um, of course, when you're making religious Pause. arguments to take people's rights away, you know. Alright, everybody, we gotta pause for a minute, because we get to meet somebody very special right now. This game. Let's continue. You know, I think disagreements are warranted. Okay, uh, so you. Wicked yeah, Wally for $10. Thank you, Wicked Wally, friend of the Crucible. Thank you. He says, and this is a dad joke, I think we got into the anal the argument way so too old. early. Really, it should have been saved for bringing up the rear. Okay, well, dad joke received, Wicked Wally, right? Um, now that's the, the virtue of fatherhood right there. <laughs> For $5, J.S. Urban Adventures says, the verse that Vosh quoted is translated agape. I believe that that word is agape. Vosh is talking about the euros and sounds foolish. Now, to to kind of uh, put and that... And phileo. Witchcraft. Yeah, to put, that, put that super chat in perspective, I do often find that laymen... Shot. Your cast and gains by the way, I'm, I'm no biblical expert, though I think that okay. I'm more well-informed than most... Um, they often do the cherry pick the Bible to make the points without understanding the greater context or the metaphysics that are behind it, Bosch. Do you agree that that's true? Undeniably. And I would never and pretend to make more dedicated elsewhere. arguments about biblical scripture than I feel I'm qualified to. I'm sure the but I am absolutely confident in my belief, and I would defend yes, they will. in any respect the belief that a belief in love and a reflection of God's love being the experience humans have with one another is a fundamental component of Christian theology with essentially no room for arguing otherwise. It is the experience of that love that brings people closer to God. If you can't feel that, if you can't experience that, you're essentially being denied a fundamental element of God's creation. I, but, I'm, separate, I'm, but separate sin. Separate what? So, but you have to separate sin. So sin is not the uh, condition of God's love, sin would be the condition of you not experiencing God's love. Right? Well, yeah, well, yeah, I'm not saying that sin, like the act of sin is God's love, only that your mm. ability to experience love for others is a component of and a reflection of God's love and creation. Yeah, um, I don't disagree, that's true. Everyone, sin is an act. Well, everyone, whether they are or whether they do, everyone sins or is a sinner to some extent or another. No one is perfect. Not even, you know, I don't even think the Pope's claim that way. You know, everyone. Um, no, the Pope's claim uh, uh, Yeah, so uh, in, in that respect, like, but we're given the free... Oh, yeah, people talk about this frequently. People break out the term papal infallibility. Papal infallibility is actually not a, is 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 not what people think it is papal infallibility only refers to a thing called ex cathedra uh declarations basically popes only have papal infallibility aka where they are speaking the word of god without question when they are uh, when they have done a certain ritual and are seated in the throne in the vatican city um it's an incredibly rare thing to happen People talk about papal infallibility. I know this is really random. People talk about papal infallibility all the time, but it's actually quite a rare occurrence that any pope claims it, and it's really only done uh, for very, very specific things. Anyway, just figured I would share that. We need them to make those choices, aren't we? And, and the hope would be, you know, for any Christ-like person after one sins, is to That's learn something. from that and to move on. But I do feel like Hake's essentialist perspective of sin, chaos. what did he just say, that sin isn't an action, rather sin is something done by a sinful person, it's essentialist and it doesn't leave very much room for people to grow. Wait, wait, okay, so this, this comment popped up 
and it said Vosh would probably take his sig. You own a sig sour? Yeah, right next to me. You fucking. I mean, it's good tasting guns, Crow. man. Just saying. Just saying. It's good tasting guns. I just ordered my, a new one this preference. morning. You got a P229 or a P220? Uh, no, it's a P320, and I've got a P227. Ah, uh, shit. Fucking. You, you couldn't get the good one, could you? Couldn't get the P229, the best of the best. No, I, li it. I like the ones that I got. They're, they're very shiny. <laughs> okay, Firefly90 for $5 says... You must have a lot of stuff around these parts, way, don't you, Carol, mate? Not, not gonna lie, Most my, uh, my go-to. Thank um, you. Per Hake, woman mm. rape should still have the child just have if they get around. pregnant. In that situation, wouldn't they be a single well, mother well, you to despise? You by the no. Okay. Uh, can, go can, I, can I get a clarification oh. on that? Yeah, go ahead. Can, it, so, if a if a per if a woman was raped and then had the child, wouldn't they be a single mother? Right, but not a single mother I despise necessarily. Oh, okay. Right. Well, we 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 finally found the condition for a woman to not earn your ire. They have to be raped. Okay. Well. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I didn't say. I didn't say. Get back in I the magma wouldn't. And no one gets hurt. Her. Just no, not necessarily. Just not, okay. Gotcha. You know, she might <laughs> she might have like been wearing something that asked for it. In which case, here the the derision would continue. I mean, I think victim blaming is actually a good thing because. Oh you, my it's, God! Of it's, course it's you do. For of course issues, he fucking you know, does. Preventing the problem. Uh, so for was well, well known oh, sorry, rape stopped back when um back when women were all wearing like uh, pilgrims dresses. The rape didn't exist until like um, low cut skirts were invented. Anyway, sorry, please continue. Yeah, why is the wife? The wife is so right about this. Communists do always have good taste in guns. You know, they made the best. They <laughs> made it's the, best the one the thing best. we got. That's the one thing you did right. I'll agree with that. Okay, so Goat Roofer for twenty dollars says, "Vosh, Talk about it. Yeah. do you have do you have a poop? I mean, the AK forty-seven. It's yeah. the best of the best of that. But anyway, cool. It is a great Vosh, gun. Vosh, do you have a poop fetish? Shoe on head has some explaining to do. I have no idea what the fuck that means. I assume it's like an anal sex thing. Which I mean, I guess this is how I thought <laughs> about anal when I was like twelve or whatever. But you know." If you have enough good experiences, you put your biases uh, aside. Like I, like, I don't know. I mean, I've also fucked chicks when they're on their period. Like, do I, does that mean I have a menstrual clot fetish? Like, I like sex. Like, you know, I'm, I'm living life. Living my best life. People act so weird about it, you know? But so much of the weirdness kind of reveals the underlying thought process, right? Like, so much of the anti-anal sex stuff. Like, come on, it doesn't have anything to do with morals. You just think it's icky. If it was a moral thing, then your opinions on the cleanliness of the act would be absolutely irrelevant. Like, it would have nothing to do with the argument. But you and Hake both no, went with I... the, oh, well, it's gross thing, like, pretty much right off the bat. So it's like, okay, so it's not ethical then. You just don't... And that's fine! I'm not forcing you to have anal sex. Be free. Uh, so oh, from what? Uh, NTP, oh, for many loonies and toonies, we always appreciate the loonies and toonies here, God equals good. Which means order, common sense, logic, and right, reason, everybody. truth, life. We have reached the end of the of of my of my stream time for tonight, everybody. Uh, I don't have anything else to. Uh, uh, I I don't think this is going to go anywhere else. I think we've gotten the best of it. Okay.